Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play some Earthborn Rangers. Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't I don't know if you're gonna get a good Rob rant today, Jacob. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Nothing planned. Nothing planned. They usually aren't. I know, that's what makes them fun. <laughs> they're organic. But sometimes no, there used to be streams where like I literally started as like I have stuff to say. <laughs> And people, that's why they comment, like, you never get to the gameplay. It's an hour in, and this guy never plays the game. What the hell? It's like, yep, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Gotta get some things off my chest first. Yep, welcome to Rob's <laughs> gaming table, not your gaming table. <laughs> you get what I give you, all right? That's the way it is. There's your rant. Deal with it. Rawr. All right. We're almost in the oh. top 1,200, no, top 1,300. We're like one out of it, right? Wow. To be in the top 1300. So it is quick. It's funny. It's like an even number. That's kind of cool. Like a, on the hundreds. I have hope. <laughs> 15 months. 15 months. Producer. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you. Thank you. I do notice here our chat is fully gold dye. Ah. That's, that's right. amazing. That's right. Very nice. Thank everybody. you. Thank, thank you. you so much for all the support. Yes. Jacob, 15 months. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I don't know why you guys hang around so long. I still don't understand that. <laughs> we don't know. I expect more of a revolving door policy happening here. <laughs> they come in, they don't they like come it, in, and they leave. Like, oh, I like this stream. I'm going to hang out. Oh, maybe I'll even support the channel. And then they see the second stream, and they're like, okay, that's too much of this guy. I'm out. He said something I didn't like. <laughs> small doses. Small doses of Rob. That's what I figured people would like. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's our numbers. Awesome. There's our numbers. So we played like two days ago, so we're kind of like in the rhythm. Mm -hmm. We're into it. We're going to keep going. This is like a two-part episode kind of thing where we're like, yeah, we're like, let's play two days later. Not like when we take like nine days and we're like, what's going on? Yeah. So it's really nice we didn't play something else in between. Nope. Uh, I just need to know, um, what day are we on, technically? I'm curious. 21. So we're starting day 21. There's nothing to read. Nothing to read. It's a perfect, perfect day. day. Yep. Perfect day is our weather. Yep. So sick. Very nice, perfect day. I haven't seen that in a while. Like I know I saw it last episode or everybody's like it feels weird to see that. It reminds me of when we started playing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, and where were we? Can you show me on the map? I sure can. I know we're Stoneweaver Bridge. So we're on Stoneweaver. Here, here, let me zoom in for everybody. Okay, and let me pull it down a little bit. So we were like in the swamp area. We've now we ended here, camped at Stoneweaver Bridge. Our plan, because of our current journey mission is to get to Lone Tree Station. So I have the canoe equipped so that we can take this water path right up to White Skies and then right over to Lone Tree Station and see what happens. That's our plan. It's the that's shortest a, route. Yeah, that's the goal. And the canoe is a setup item so Mel can put it into play at the start. The Dolewood canoe, I should say, which uh, you may travel on river paths. So we will. Sure. That's the play. Taking up three of my gear slots. Yeah, but so. we're going to put it to use for a bit. Might make it harder actually when we're in the locations though because you don't have your other goodies, but we'll it see. It may, it may. Maybe you don't draw into them anyway. Um, but that's the play. We're on day oh, 21. Yeah, 21, yeah. But I just, that might have been delayed from when... Oh, I did not see that, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, that just, just popped up. I right just now. asked because I was curious. Yeah. It's funny, Minion. Great minds the thinking same. Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Johnny, hello. Yeah, Minion, I watched that whole Star Wars Unlimited stream. Yeah, we were looking for you. 
Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't, I couldn't find you. Yeah, we no. didn't know. I scrubbed through, like, everything like, just to get to the matches, and then, like... We're like, yeah. maybe this is Minion. We don't know. Yeah. Were, were you in one of the first few matches? You, you can wink twice if you were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It's all good. Oh, it looked fun, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed those days of going to big tournaments like that, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that stuff coming uh, for us, hopefully, somewhere in Canada or the northern U.S., Northeastern U.S. I guess would be the play uh, for us to get too easy, but we'll see. You'll see. Uh, I know they were like streaming the quote-unquote top-ish tables, but a bunch of times they weren't. They were just picking whatever. I guess there would always be someone undefeated, and even if it was the, like the someone who got pared down, they would still put them on if they had interesting decks or leader choices, which was cool. Mm -hmm. It was entertaining, but it definitely. Let me know that the game is reminded me the game is new only been out for a couple weeks um, Because I'm used to watching tournaments and when you're watching people who are undefeated and like Mel you've made a comment Yep, yeah, Mel made a comment and no offense to anyone who played there that day mm -mm. And I, I totally if I was brand new to the game I would sign up and go there too because the chance like the prizing was so good the side events so good the people so friendly I know the community is friendly for this game. I know Star Wars fans in general in tabletop gaming are some of the most friendly, fun people and welcoming people that I've ever met in, in, in all my time playing, um, which I think draws from the IP, right? The IP is kind of a funnier kind of sci-fi, doesn't take itself too seriously, mm -hmm. and uh, the fans are usually like, you know, nicer, but it's a total like from young to old, like covers everybody, but everyone's so friendly. I love it. Um, but... I did notice, like, even in, like, some of the later games, like, people reading cards that didn't know what they're doing, making tons of misplays, mistakes, and that's okay. Like, I stream. I know when you're on stream, especially if you don't do it for a living, mm -hmm. you're going to be a little nervous, maybe, make some misplays. But there is, like, I could not believe some people are, like, undefeated six in a row, and they're, like, reading their cards. Like, what does that do? Or what does your card do? And it reminded me, like, oh, yeah, this game is, like, brand new. Some of these people probably have never even played outside their house True. before, you know, or maybe played at their local game night one week, you know, and then they went. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really cool to see. Usually I watch tournament games and it's been out for months or years and I'm seeing like, you know, the top play on stream. Yeah. And I like look up to that. But when I was watching some of these, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm watching like the people that I teach play the game, you know, and it was mm -hmm. interesting that uh, they're all 222 people not, not afraid just to go there. Even mm -hmm. the guy that won, I watched like a little interview with him today. He had only played 10 games. I don't know if it was only 10 games with a deck or 10 games period before he went. Wow. Yeah. And then he won the whole thing. Yeah, that's like amazing. when 8-8-0. Eight, eight, no. That's crazy. Wow. Um, but that's fun. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it looked really cool. It's mm -hmm. very fascinating. Dropped out after going 3-3. Three and three. Yeah, I saw I saw your uh, post on Discord. Dropped out after going 3-3, three and three, won two rounds of, yeah, Twin Suns. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah play, I played awesome. one, one game of Twin Suns. It is very good. Very good mode. I can see that being like the more popular mode in the future. Uh, just more people wanting to play that. Especially with legendaries being so hard to find. Uh, only needing one of each in a deck is like, yeah, that's the way to go. I mm -hmm. uh, assume that the streamer table was the top ranked people, but was just glad I didn't have to go on it. Yeah, you can always say no to that oh, in a yeah. tournament. I've like, I've like run streams at big tournaments before, and yeah, you, you always ask if people are okay. But some tournaments will put it in the fine print when you sign up for the event that you have to be on stream if, if you're asked. Like, or you'll be filmed and all that's part of being in the tournament. And if you don't want to do it, then go home. But most places are pretty good. If you're like, I don't want to be on camera, then they won't, they won't make you. But yeah. Yeah, because usually there's another option as long as it's not the final table. Yeah, it's rough when you get in the top cut and then people are like, I don't want to be on stream. And then you're like, okay, well, we have no stream for the next hour. Will we wait for that round yeah, to finish? Yeah, and everybody's no been else. watching leading up and now yeah. there's nobody. Yeah. Most people are pretty good about it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's cool. That's cool. We're streaming more Star Wars Unlimited on Wednesday. Join us for that if you're interested. But today we're playing a different card game. Um, but just thought you know, remind, reminded me of that. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's get set up. I guess our own cards, right? Oh yeah, let's start there. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, shuffle a bunch quick. already, but... Same. <clears throat> 24 player draft. Jack goes Saturday as friendly local game store awesome have fun good luck yeah we've been getting like little we're doing like little constructive tournaments uh one of my local stores like 
I, I've never really played there until Star Wars Limited, but I've been shopping there for years. Um, this is my first game going there for, and the store like ran out of packs and booster boxes and stuff for sale, and I was like, oh man, they're one of the ones that like ran out of stock, which most places in Canada have. But they're one of the rare stores that actually I learned when we went f uh, for our event on Sunday, which 16 players showed up, the week before it was like 20 something, uh, 21 or two or something like that. We played just a uh, constructed best of one, three or, f or four or five rounds. Um, you pay in, it gets you a pack and a half into prizing, it's like 10 bucks, uh, covers a pack and a half in Canadian dollars. Um, and then the top eight all get prizes, uh, get a bunch of packs, get the organized play pack. Everyone gets an organized play pack, I think for showing up. Um, and I learned at the end of the last event, we we're like, oh, are you out of packs now since you haven't been selling any for a week? No, what the store did, they literally hoarded and hid instead of selling at like double the cost. They've saved a ton of booster boxes, literally just to supply for the players who show up to play in that event so that they can support it for like eight weeks into the future. And hopefully by then, uh, Asmodee will get some product to Canada and, uh, you know, support us. So because of that, I'm like, I'm all in. I'm going to support that store. And that's like, that shows that instead of them jacking prices and selling those booster boxes for like double the price, which mm -hmm. some stores do, or cracking them all open and selling them as singles, they're actually like trying to reward players who come down, hang out for a couple hours to play Star Wars for weeks. That's awesome. Which shows they like want the community to stay and grow. And like, that's, that's like the sign of like a friendly local, like a proper friendly local game store. Mm hmm and that's why I'm always like behind the FLGS if they do it right. And yeah, you don't get that kind of customer community support through like Kickstarter supporting tabletop gaming, which was nice to see. Um, Will they use some of that for draft and sealed or is it only for prizing? Uh, only for prizing. They're okay. just going to keep doing that same event style, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. But if they change the event type, I think it's because the packs kind of dried up. Oh, they yeah. don't want to do drafts and seals because then stuff will run out even faster because right, you need right. more packs plus prizing. Plus prizing, yeah. This way they'll just be prizing. That's cool. Um, but it's still cool. It's still, still cool, yeah. Still cool that they hoarded it all instead of just trying to make extra profit off it because the prices are rising. So, yeah. <laughs> I said I wouldn't derail. No, it's okay. We're That's just shuffling. Good. We're shuffling and chatting. It's all good. It's all good. People can always scrub forward till they see play stuff happening uh, when they're watching later. Sorry about you guys watching live. Um, being a little off topic. Uh, six. 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 Mm. I don't really know what I'm looking for other than get out of this location. That's the kind of the goal. Yeah, I derailed it. I derailed it. I saw Minion and it reminded me to say that I watched that stream and thanks again for bringing all that up. That's really what I just wanted to say. Uh, I appreciate it. But I did, I did go second yesterday in, in my tournament, so just throwing that out there. Just tooting my own horn a little bit. <laughs> All righty. So. Well, we're definitely keeping the animal suite. Holy. Yeah, I love that. I probably that. don't even need them today, though, if we're just, like, rushing through places. But but things come up, right? And you yeah, have to deal it, with them it, out of my way. Yeah, so. that's true. This does help clear yeah, things. Yeah, it definitely uh, worked last time. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I'll keep this to help you with tests in general if we're, like, short and we're trying to travel. Okay. Um, but the rest I'll toss. Yeah, I'm going to toss the vaulting rod. I can't play that with the canoe anyways because it's three... Um, I don't think we need to scout the path deck for anything, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. I'm going to keep the walk with me because it is helpful to get rid of a big something if I need it. This gives me some uh, compasses. This lets me play out of my discard pile, which I always love, especially with the walk with me is out of my discard. Really good. This one here I'm thinking, so currently this is a trail. So this card here lets me exhaust to add a um, progress to a trail. So I'm thinking it's just additional progress that I can add. So I'm going to keep those four. Oh, we got some more compasses. Uh, I don't really need that, but all good. All good. So we need three cards from the valley set. Yep. Maybe we'll find our friend who helps us fly around uh, the the board. But I... oh, no, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh... No, that's okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to find him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not picking. Feel around. Feel around. <laughs> you have uh... the one that searches for a person. 
Oh, I think I just tossed oh, that back. Fine, Not, I didn't even think it's about fine. that, but yeah, I'm an idiot. It's fine, it's fine. I think I mulliganed that back. I probably just, unless I just saw it. Yeah, I'm mulliganed it back, it's I'm all pretty good. sure. It's all good. I, sh I wasn't wow. paying attention to what you were doing. Wow. It's okay, we don't know if he's even in there. I know, but that's a way to find out. <laughs> and if you need to like delay a little bit so we dig for him, you know? Yeah, that's like true. Like your scouting cards and I stuff. have, I got one. I mulliganed one away and got it's another okay. one. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We got the boat. Yeah, yeah. Count that as a rant. It was off there topic. I jab did a little jab at Kickstarter there. Uh, you know, the way people like to... I always like... It's like a... In my mind, there's still like this friendly local game store versus Kickstarter and board gaming. I know <laughs> we kind of need both to succeed. We need both to make the hobby grow. I know this. But it still bugs me that like some people just spend their money on Kickstarter projects and... Publishers bypass a local game store when the local game store like needs to survive and needs to be there. I think uh, To build communities and the type of games I like playing and stuff and mm -hmm. yeah, even people just like buying games sometimes They're back in Kickstarter's blind getting tricked by marketing But sometimes you can just walk in your local game store and yeah They might trick you into buying a kind of a crappy game based on you saying like you like this you like that And they just want to get rid of something they might trick you if you don't know what you're doing There's but I like I don't yeah, I don't think they want to do that, though, because they want you to take the game home and love it and come back and get more games. So mm -hmm. they're incentivized not to do that. I mean, sometimes it's going to be a miss by accident. Yeah. You know, they don't know everything about you. The problem with crowdfunding is you got these people, like I always say, it's like these small teams where their mom was the play tester and grandma said the art looked great and Junior said the game's the best, and their wife said this is the best thing I've ever played. Nobody told them the truth. They went and got a bank loan, printed the thing out, went on Kickstarter, or printed out a prototype, I should say. Went on Kickstarter, asked everyone for money, tell them it's the greatest thing they've ever ever played. And then when you get it, you can tell. N nobody told them that this game sucked, and the rule book sucked, and your game is boring, and it's more fluff than content, and yeah. So sometimes things get out like that, but... Yeah, anyways. Hi, Dan. I don't know. I just love the local game store. I'm biased. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Jacko, that's really cool. Jacko says, mine knew I wanted tokens, found me a set, held them until they saw me again. How can you not appreciate that? Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. That's amazing. That rant. doesn't happen on Kickstarter. <laughs> yes. Do you feel the rant slowly building? <laughs> Do you feel the rant coming to life? Dan, how's it going? This is a fake rant turned into a real one. Yeah, see, it's, right. it's organic. It has to be organic. Yep. I know, I, when I saw the rant comment before we started live, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to rant about. I'm in a good mood. Everything's fine. All is well in the world of what I pay attention to. Like, But I've been ignoring a lot of tabletop gaming news and new games. That frustrates me. That's where the rants come from, okay? If I stay off crowdfunding, the likelihood of rants declines, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's kept me more sane. And uh, just focusing on things that I love and want to play and want to do brings you back to the roots of why I did this channel and why I love doing it. So it's been good lately for that. Am I playing everyone's game they want to see? No. Am I talking about your favorite game? No, probably not. But it's what we're doing. It's what I got to do to survive for a bit. I'll get back into the other stuff and we'll go We'll go down a angry rant a few months while I play some games I don't think are that great or whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens <laughs> when we move on to the next ones. Uh, okay, this I think is shuffled. I think so. I think you've, you've I think clearly I the, shuffled. I worn the sleeves off of it, uh, <laughs> shuffling and talking for so long. But yeah, it's all good. Anyways. It's all good. You can't let a good mood get in the way of a good rant. No, Dan. exactly. If it yeah. comes out, it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Give the chat five minutes. We'll generate a rant. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know how yeah, like, They'll say something. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, true. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> um, have we been here before? This is, I don't yes, know if we've been we've here been before. we've been here. We've been most places, I think. Just a few of the outskirts of the map, I think we never went to. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'll read 26. Maybe it asks us if we've done something before. I uh, mean, I'm writing all these things down. I yeah, don't know yeah. why. Sometimes... No. No, the Silver okay. Fan, Great Bridge. Yeah, I'll pause oh, yeah. it if you want to read. I don't really care right now. Yeah, we did read that before. Okay. Search the path deck for the next feature and discard it. Oh. And then we're drawing two path cards as part of the setup. Okay. So I'm discarding the tallest cave. And I'm not going to shuffle since that nope. was the next one. And, and then both, right? Yep. Yep. Rope Bridge. 
Okay. This is annoying. But potentially I can get out of here before this is a problem. Yeah, like you lose all progress from the location if harm, mm -hmm. hit four harm ends up hitting here. Yeah. And you suffer an injury. Hopefully I can do it in two, two tests. So that was my draw. Your draw is the web wall <sighs> obstacle. I don't have my obstacle card either. Oh yeah, I can stick your wall. little ranger token onto here. Okay. So that's three so we got... presents in the way. Okay. And now our normal yes. ones, right? Loose boulders. I know this one can result oh, in some injuries obstacle. or something. Oh, okay. Or something. Take... Oh, yeah, lots of obstacles. Yeah, it's going to take it slightly longer to get through yeah. that sucks. Yeah, we need to get onto the water paths for it not to be like this. Yeah. And then some uh, food flora yeah. tryptifolium. So this can soothe some fatigue, draw a ranger card. Be a thing. Okay. This deck At is least it's thin. no. Oh, it doesn't hurt me. Okay. We'll keep. You would like me to go first? No beings. No. Uh, securely so move anything. Yeah, really fight anything, harm anything. I don't know. I guess you can just set up, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if we're going to see predators that much. But I might as well just set up a little whistle mm -hmm. for predator protection or harm or whatever. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to set that up for two. This is going to have three strides, and this lets me exhaust to add a progress to a trail, which I will do because this is a trail. I'll play Pokodo the ferret. Go ahead. I think since this obstacle is kind of a problem currently, mm -hmm. I'll attempt to oh, get rid of this. Nice. I can maybe work on that later, but at least... Oh, we have to get a ranger token on there to get rid of it. Or unless harm gets added from red and orange, but then if it's cleared that way, oh. uh, if it's in reach of the ranger, I suffer two injuries. No, we can't have that. We'll have to just get that... Yeah, oh, it's two to two. I'm not that good. Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. Okay, well, let's try to get rid of the web wall first. I have a healing touch for one injury, but yeah, that would really slow us down and make it so we don't travel that far. Yeah. Okay. Okay, attempting a test here for three. Zero. This is gone. Uh, is gone. And then red. There's no red. Okay. Let's play quiet. Go ahead. Oh, this is kind of cool. What? Sorry, we didn't look at that. But during refresh, you may choose a path card to remain exhausted. Okay. So, if so we that'll can help us like with this obstacle or whatever. Yeah. Can we? Exa we can exhaust a feature, right? Not with the void. You have to do it with like something you have, like uh, oh. that, that, that rod or whatever. Oh, I don't have that because I. Whoops. I, I know I couldn't. I can't put the Whoops. canoe and the rod out together. They don't work together. Let's play a Simon game. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Most Simon games, yes, that would do it. Not all. Some are good. So. Hmm. What test do we need to do there? We need to do a compass and a focus for two. Is that our token there? Uh. Oh yeah. Oh it's sorry. Blue. Oh yeah yeah. No, I didn't mean to dodge that. I didn't even read. I was thinking of doing a a different test. I'm being dumb. Yeah. I could. Oh, but my focus is only two. It still would have been a two test. Then move this feature within range of another re ranger. So then, oh, then oh, you then can try makes, to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it easier actually. Well, I don't know what I'm doing here. Do I try that? If, yeah, if you don't get any harm, try, as long have... as you can like do a test of like three, I would say. I'd have to put this card in, but then that's all my compasses. There's oh, an no, obstacle one. we need to get rid of. It prevents yeah, injuries, right, which right. is, equals lots of fatiguing. Okay, let's try. Uh, this is for, oh, uh, do I have to dodge anything? No. No, okay. So this is for three. Zero. Okay, that's successful. So this goes here. And then move this in. Oh, yeah. Uh, move this feature within reach of another ranger. Okay. And then So sun. that was a plus one on here. So if I were to try it. Okay. Oh, but I don't have. 
add a harm to this feature for the sun, and then if the weather is inclement, it is not, it's a perfect day. Okay, we have one on here already. I mean, we may have to suffer an injury for that, but I mean, there's nothing we can do. We'll just try as best we can. Nick says, just tuning in, just got back from work, LOL. Are you guys teaming up against the game? Yes. Yeah, yeah yes. It's, it's like a co-op uh, LCG, Nick. It's like similar, I don't know if you've heard of like Lord of the Rings Living Card Game, Arkham Horror the Living Card Game, or Marvel Champions Living Card Game. This game is designed by a bunch of people that used to work at FFG that started their own studio, made a game based on that same kind of formula. We're basically like forest rangers uh, hundreds or thousands of years in the future. Uh, after pollution and everything, like kind of destroyed the world sort of. Um, and yeah. It's we're, debatable we're, whether we're good at our job or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're straight out of like ranger school. We're going around discovering animals and folklore and fauna. Yeah. Trying to discover this like... It's like a world in a box. It's like an open-ended, it's basically Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, meets, what was the other thing people would say? I forget, but it's like playing Zelda Breath of the Wild in, in a, like a co-op card game. Like you can explore anywhere and there's like lots of things to discover and I could play and see a whole bunch of different things than you saw when you played. And it's like a whole bunch of boxes of like all different terrain decks, tons of rewards you can unlock to upgrade your deck as you play. So like you're constantly Unlocking new things that maybe you can put in your deck, maybe not, and so we like evolve as we play too. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of work went into it. You can tell it's quite epic. Quite epic. All right, your turn. You can try this if you want. Now this has a plus one on it, so even if you did a test for uh, one, it's yeah. A, I mean, like just you said, about things. Yeah, but that's other fine. than the sun. All right, let's go. Let's do a for one. one. Yep. Zero. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm we so good. We did it. Gone. Okay. Okay. Both obstacles. So cleared. Cleared the loose boulders. Done. Boom. Okay, good. Mountains. Uh, oh, it would have added another one. Okay, <clears> didn't even need. Okay, that's good. And then you were interacting in my area, right? If there's an active prey, there's not. Okay. My turn. I don't think I can do anything. Oh, I can connect with the parrot, uh, the ferret for two. Plus one. Three. Oh, no sun again. So it's going here or something? Yeah, yeah three. Uh, three? And then I'm going to shuffle. Okay. Oh, Nick played a bit of Gloomhaven in the past. Wish I had a group that could commit through the campaign. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it that's is definitely a, fun. That's a common thing is <laughs> yeah. people who start Gloomhaven and only get so far and then the group breaks up or COVID happened or whatever and no one gets back to it. Yep. There is a ton of game report gamers out there who come into the hobby, hear about Gloomhaven being like really high on the rankings mm -hmm. and people loving it and setting Kickstarter backing records and all this crazy stuff, crowdfunding records. And then it's like people get it and they're like, holy crap, this is a lot of dedication to this game. And it's better with more people, and then you try to get those people to dedicate as much passion to that, that game, and it sets an uphill to climb when people are busy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but cool game is awesome. I don't play solo games, but I can't picture playing that game solo. Like, I feel like You it, have to play it two-handed, so yeah. that's, like, a lot, too. Yeah. But, uh, it's more fun. I, I have fun playing that with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of the better games, in my opinion, but not perfect. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Though no game is. Uh, right. Back to you. Back to me, okay. I'll probably just rest after this. Yeah. Uh, I am... Nobody has any fatigue, eh? Nope. Nope. I could do it, I could do it on purpose, but just... No, no, no. Don't do it well, on purpose. There's no test to interact with past anything. What is the deal with that? I guess this. If we want to get rid of this with our ranger tokens, it is spirit plus triangle. Really have or care? No. If I draw into a card with that triangle on it, then maybe. But or if I have more, I have yeah, I don't have one. It. But I want to save this for when we're trying to get out of here because mm -hmm. we should try to get out of here like really fast. Yeah, okay. that's fair. I'll just do my exhaust and spend this token to add another token to an aid. I don't have one. Card. This one. Okay. Okay. Uh, rest. Rest. Or uh, yeah, I don't need to add anything. Yep. Okay. We draw, refresh, <clears throat> get our tokens back. Oh, reverb locket, I love that. 
Okay, I'll put those two together. Okay. That's good. Okay. 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 Oh, I can't add. Can't play that. Okay. Uh, path cards. No more obstacles. We found a ranger cache. Oh. Okay. So it's read seventy nine. Ranger Cache, you barely notice the sigil carved in the nearby rock. You don't see any sign of the Ranger Cache, but you whistle uh, the five tones that Ben Amon taught you during your training. The illusion of a rock outcropping covered in lichen flares, uh, or lichen, lichen, I don't know how to say the word, flares, and fades away, fades as, sorry, lens, I can't read today, lenser deactivates, mm -hmm. lenser, I don't know what that is. Revealing four carbon forged chests bolted to the rock. Sure. Sure, sure. Uh, so we got a ranger cache. This so is good. This is from the valley set. Yeah, so this but, is a good one. Yeah. Oh, this lets you switch that, stuff. Means that Ben is maybe in our deck. Two more shots, right? Ben is who we're also looking oh, for for the. Yeah, but whatever. I don't want to wait around here because no, all the no, bad no. damaging losing boulders and stuff. No, I agree. I agree. So that goes there. Oh, oh no. 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 Umbra's flying around here. No. We know uh, all about Umbra. Oh 89. Oh, it's just story. Oh, Basically. Did we? Oh, and, no. she, and she's persistent. She's going to be following us all over the place. Yeah, we need to get rid of this one. Luckily, I have yeah, a walk with me, and then you can crap. use some of That just changed everything. Oh, man. Crappy Umbra. I definitely should not. Takes be. eight harms. Like, I need to bite it. Like, no, I think we can progress. If I do a walk with me and then with the ferret and then connect test on it, maybe we can just yeah, we'll see. See what we can do. All right, well that's our ranger cards. Okay. I can pull it to me if I go first. Hopefully, yeah. Play Uru the sheepdog. Okay. I'll exhaust to move a being, uh, and add two progress to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I could do two more with this. Do I bother? Sure. I'll exhaust this. Uh, spend one, add two to here, and another progress to this card. Probably over but kill, but uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll attempt. I'll attempt to test here. So I will dodge the bridge. I'll take one. It's not friendly, right? No. Nope. I'll take one, one for the ranger cache, one fatigue. And then I have two. Three, four, five. Five. There's one already on there, and I can add one more if needed. Like, so if I'm okay, one shy, ahead, so we'll fine. see. And then maybe we get mountains for once. You can add an additional. Minus one. There you okay. go. Okay. So that is four. But one additional because of mountains. Oh, so five is going on there. Yeah, so Three, that's it. Four. Oops. But this four. guy will still follow oh, yeah, us, so, so I need to still work on him. But he'll okay. just stay in play. So these are all gone already. Did we do that refresh? Uh, when no. we refresh, discard a cloud? I did not. And there was something else. Keep a card exhausted? There, there was, was none, nothing right? exhausted, okay. no. I guess if we get the bird exhaust, Oh, that won't really... Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay, that was me. I'll just play the intention translator. And... Oh, I could have... Um, three tokens. How much left. did I do? I did... Uh, that was f five? Five. I could put that on this guy. If you want, yeah. So like on my turn, sorry, it Two would more, uh, and then three. After you succeed at a traverse test, add progress to a being equal to your effort. Okay, uh, so he's at nine out of twelve. We need to get rid of him. Okay, sorry, and then you did something else. It's my turn. Yeah, I played this. Uh, yep. Uh, I only have one. Do you want me? Um, what am I doing with this? What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna try to um. Pluck here. It's two that will add a harm to this feature. Soothe one fatigue and draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, so minus one, I'm good. Okay, so soothe one fatigue and draw a card. Oh, that's good. That's good. If if where we're going is trails, and I got to add a harm to this, so it can only happen one more time. Oh, and then red, nothing. I'll just exhaust uh, to add a token to this card. And I will just rest. 
Do we just rest here together and then get rid of the umbra first so it's not following us? No. No, we travel with it's it with It's persistent. Bevan? It'll stay. Okay, yeah. So I'd rather just hit it with one of these guys uh, or both of those guys and get rid of it. Okay. Rather so than then... trying to do uh, like weenie little tests or refreshing and losing this. Yeah, you're right. And you're right. having more tests or this could hurt us. I, yeah. don't, I don't need injuries, so. Okay, so then I will rest. also rest. So we'll travel. Okay, we're traveling. So we're going to. So I have the canoe so we can travel the, through the water up to Spire. We'll get rid of the terrain. Uh, Oral Voss was the other oh, card. Okay, this okay. is gone. These are gone. Uh, so here's the valley set. That's this nice. guy will stay persistent. Umbra will keep flying with us as we travel. Put that over there for you. I don't know if we need the valley set for the next one, do we? Uh, no. Spire, no. no sp okay. Oh, all the rest of our potential are um, oh, okay. pivotal. So I'll put the spire, valley set away, but spy. Umbra, of course, sticks with us because we got unlucky. Hi, Brian. Hello, Brian. How's it going? Um, and then this terrain deck we this don't need is also anymore. Gone. This location we don't need anymore because our terrain is always water until oh until the until we get to but it's the not lake this. Shore. This is like an annoying terrain. This is only in the south, no. right? Yeah, yeah. lake okay. shore is good. Brian, three months as being a member. Thank you so much. Sorry in advance, but you can stay on one card. Twenty one. Har har. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a it's a blackjack joke. But, okay, that's what I was thinking. But I don't know. I probably said like something. Can I can I stay on? Did I say something like that? I'm assuming I did. I said something along those lines. Like, can I stay on this card or can that? So I don't know. Did we say something silly like that? But I get the joke. Uh, yeah. I just don't know. If I said something. I just missed whatever was said. That it's <laughs> yeah. It went over we my head. We ruined it. We should have just laughed and been like. <laughs> no, I yeah. It's all good. It's, it's probably funny. I'm just an idiot didn't catch the first part. Uh, but thank you, Brian. <laughs> you might have even been the one that said it. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay, I thought so. So she said something. I said something. You said something. See, and I don't why, remember what I said. Yeah, and I don't listen to her, so it's how, how I missed it. So yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Brian caught it. It's all yeah. good. But other people listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they tell me when my mic is muted. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on purpose. <laughs> what are you doing? You're getting river. Or, uh, oh, yeah. I'm getting the location, which is Spire, right? Yeah. <laughs> location, pivotal trail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Separate deck. Okay. Okay. Separate Spire deck. Let's go to the pivotal cards. Pivotal. The spire. Six, I think we did look through all the six cards of spire. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, went we've been them here a bunch of times. We've like searched them all because we were looking for somebody, so we had to dig through that deck once. That was the guy Solar Solaro Mako? Uh, Solaro Mako. Bubble under white sky, fractured wall, or spire. Yep. Yeah, but at spire, I bet it's. I'm not gonna read these cards, but one of these cards, I think, is a way to like search for people to pull them oh. in or something, or I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think he's a person here, but there's so many cards in here that you can like do things, interact with. I don't know if I really care. It's a side quest right now, and if we can visit another place and do it, or maybe get lucky, uh, we'll see. But yeah, anyways. it could just happen. So I'll set that deck there. That's the Spire deck, which we don't interact with until we are not in the surroundings of Spire. Oh, this is... And then, right, that was Spire, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then I need the river. The river. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the river terrain. Are there fishies and our bears? Yep. Okay, I feel like I remember it not being too harsh. Yeah. Well, how much is it to get out of this location? Eight. Eight. Eight to okay, get out of okay. here. Oh, yeah, you have to pass this test, put your ranger token on here. And when it's on here, then you draw from Spire. Janet, okay. member for 36 months. Janet, thank you so much. Oh, God. More EBR to watch while I paint. <laughs> Hello, all. Hey, Janet. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Very nice. Very nice. 36 months. Wow. Yep, yep. It's a long time. Janet's our longest member. We're going to be our longest YouTube member. I'm pretty sure I is think... what I saw last when I was looking at it. Yeah, I think so. When I was doing the credits, and I was like, oh, wow. Yep. There are a few that right right after... But Jan's officially, I think, the number one, the like longest name that's like at the bottom of the list now. 
I don't know if there was someone before that's not anymore. Oh, because sometimes they leave and but, then like rejoin yeah. and stuff, so then it bumps them up the list. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then they they're still in not as long. Janet's been like rock solid all yep. the way through. So thank you, Janet. Thank Janet, you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know there's people who are like on Patreon for like longer, and it doesn't count back. Like, I don't see that all added together. It's like, yeah, it's like they don't. The systems aren't linked. That is one like reason that. I do like the YouTube is is for that and for yeah. the dice and That's stuff. Cool. It's, it's fun. <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so uh, uh arrival yeah let's, let's check, check here because maybe something or we've check written, everywhere we some have where we've written down things yeah true oh, if he's oh. In, you gotta bring oh, him gotta here bring him here oh gosh so he's not here that gives that away rising on the island yeah we read this yeah. so many times okay that's big tower mean. in the middle yeah, good old, good old spire. See, we're up here somewhere in these trees, and spire's down there, which symbolizes we're up here in this deck, and we we would want to get down there maybe, but we're just passing by. Uh, so lead ranger draws a path card. Okay, mm -hmm. we get a bear. Oh, they go there. Okay. And you oh. get a bear. We all get a bear. Twin. Everyone gets a bear. Twin bears. Okay. Okay, there's two two uh presents each. They're predators. Remember you were asking about predators. Yes. I can't move them around their beings. I can bite them twice with quiet. I do have the way to prevent damage back to quiet when uh, quiet attacks them or bites them or whatever. So I can send my kitty after them. Get him, kitty. Alrighty. So then we refresh and then we'll yep, draw a path card. So I'll remove the cloud. And draw. Weezy's favorite snacks. Okay. I can't play any of those. Dear friend. Okay, so on the start of a ranger turn, though. Oh, we got to draw I, path cards though first for our, our turn, though. No? Oh, that was and just then, set up. That was yeah. just set up, yeah. And then overgrown portage. Oh, another obstacle. obstacle. And the rapids. Oh, ambush three. Jeez. Oh, that's me, eh? No, it goes up here. Oh, it comes everything's down. up here. But oh, it, wow. because we're in water, it'll it starts flowing down to in front of us. Yeah. Okay. Right, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. I guess it was the theme of the water. Is this a trail? Yes, it's a location pivotal and trail. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you'd have to fatigue yourself like seven to get through. Oh yeah, that. I That's get to crazy. ready this. Uh, I can I can exhaust one. I can move them out of your way to well, help. Sir, I know that guy's still there, yeah, which is we'll annoying. But yeah, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> but I could do the test. Okay, here's what I do. Start of whoever goes first, doesn't matter. I can do this in the ranger starting window. I will put two on uh, this guy mm -hmm. and move him. And then I'll exhaust this to discard one from here. Put two on. This guy gets cleared. And then that will put one token on an aid card. Sure. And that gets rid of all that progress. Uh, and then, I mean, I mean, I, I can take I'll four. go first. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll do this fit test. Uh, let's just do it once mm -hmm. for one. Zero. Okay. So I ready. I don't have any fatigue, unfortunately, but I'll ready him. And then in my end of my ranger turn, I'll exhaust. Oh. Move one of these guys within reach. Kind of sucky. I don't want him here, but... Sorry, the only one you have to do is this. Exhaust one of your equipped gear for the sun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, but uh, you're good. You're exhaust good. Exhaust an equipped gear. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, then at the end of my turn, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. And then put two progress on it. Actually, I probably should also bite it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll bite that one. Oh yeah, clear one with progress one with. I'll try. I'll put three on that one. I can't ready him yet, so it'll be next go. Uh, and the bites he would take back, I'll exhaust this and prevent harm uh, from one being to another to my kitty cat, protected. And then your turn. Okay. I will attempt traverse test here. I will dodge the rapids. So I will take two fatigue from the bear. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm at seven. You can't help, right? Oh, I can. Yeah. It's up to you. I can put two in. 
Okay, seven, eight, nine. So we're at nine. Even minus one, we succeed. Oh, plus one didn't need. Sorry. Whatever. Uh, so, so that's let's ten. Let's four. Six, nine, ten. Okay, so we can. As long leave, as the obstacles are taken here care once of. Right? Yeah, exactly. How'd you get? You got through this one. Like, how'd you interact with that? Oh, whoops. Okay, rewind, rewind, yeah. rewind. I forgot. I forgot that was there. Womp womp. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let's shuffle this back. Hold on. I got to do that test first, actually. So let's. Jackal, that's exactly the voice that I'm. I'm thinking when I say it. No kitty, that's my papa. <laughs> no kitty, that's big kitty. Okay, let's <laughs> rewind that. Okay, that was shuffled back. These are going back to my hand. I had three. Three fitness. Okay, so instead we're gonna do this fit carry test, which will be one, two. This is not a traverse, so if I fail, it's fine. Two v two, I think, is fine. So then I can save the other for that test. Minus one. Oh shucks. Nope. Oh wait. Perf hold on. Uh, oh no, I didn't only add, added I didn't progress, add progress, but no. it's Ranger token, so it's not the same. Yeah, no, so that's no. Mike James, thank you so much for the thank super chat. You. Mel is swell. Rob ain't bad either. <laughs> Have a great day. Mike, thank you so much. Thank Mike, you. Mike, tell me like it is. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Where am I at here? Mountains. That's good. Uh, if there's a fish in play, I don't think there was any fish. Choose the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. Oh, shoot. This That's is ambush, ambush three. Yep. One, messy, messy, two, messy. three. I should have put one more token in. What was I thinking? Yeah, this is okay. Failed stuff. Just need to push, push, push. What was I thinking? Oh, well. Okay, my turn? Yeah. Um... I'll do doggo tests. Uh, oh, actually, let's try to get some fatigue. How do I get some fatigue? How do I get some fatigue? By interacting with things farther away. Fit and compass. Don't have. Um, hmm. So you're trying to clear this so we both need to be on there, right? Mm-hmm. I was hoping that I could get on there first so that it would give you the plus one, but... Well, I can do it this way uh so what i'll do is i'm gonna interact with this which i have to fatigue to oh i see because of your the yeah dog, right? and yeah, i yeah. can do a fit plus this to commit when a ranger performs a test commit x effort i'll pay x so i'm going to do three uh to this carry two test got it uh so i add this to the feature and then it says and choose a card within reach and move it to along the way. Sure. Uh, these are gone. This is gone. Um, and then and the sun, sun is exhaust your equipment when your equipment are Done. exhausted. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Well, do I try that again? I think so. We need to get rid of that obstacle. So. And you have plus is, one. Yeah. This my is three. There. Oh yeah. You have oh, to. I have to. Oh man, this thing's in my way now. Yeah, that's a lot of fatiguing. Okay, no, I will. Do I attempt to just? Oh, I can't. I can't uh, exhaust a feature. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, wait until next turn, then just dodge this to interact with something. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um. I don't know. It's kind of sucky. No, I just think I take two fatigue, three fatigue. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. I will attempt a three fitness on there. Plus one. Okay, so this is gone. Uh, no sun. Uh, that's yours. Okay. Let's get some of those cards back. My turn. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's do a connect test uh, for three, four. Let's do a connect test of four on this bear. 
Minus one. So I had three, one, two, three, one short. And then, and then red. red. Okay, red is, if there's a being within reach, if this being is within reach, they're not within reach, that's it. Don't care. Your turn. I'll pass. I'll just do uh, this exhaust uh, to add a token. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but there. And then I'll rest. So refresh. Don't forget to move a cloud. I don't know if something happens. Uh, if there's no more clouds or meaningful discard. Okay, so then when we refresh, we're going to add one cloud to this card if there are three or more clouds flip this card. But we can also add more clouds with a focus. So we're going to start suffering fatigue. When the sun okay. comes out, it's oh, a mid, yeah. mid sun, uh, midday sun. It's hot. Okay. Uh, so i got to draw. Oh, yeah. I ready up. Tokens. Okay. Okay. Oh, I should have, sorry, sorry, on the last turn before I rested, I should have exhausted that to put one to one progress there. Yeah, okay. And then it would ready back up. Okay. Uh, path cards. Toxin Eater. Which they get bit by predators. If they explode, they do something that harms everything. I don't know, something like that. Big pollution vacuums. And a strong current. X. X is the number of water features in play, so it's a water feature. This is a water feature. That's a water feature, so that's two. So let's do on that one. Wow, so much up there. Yep. That's what happens. Uh, I let you go first because you can probably do something with the bears, yep. right? Yeah. So I'm going to bite this bear and get rid of it. And then I'm going to protect um, Quiet from getting bit back. Then I'm going to uh, put two on this guy after discarding a token off my ferret. And then I'll get to put a token on a thingy. There we go. Oh, I forgot to use this for that connect test on it, that bear last turn. It was exhausted. That's correct. Thank you. No problem. But, oh, yeah, it exhausted yeah. It against me. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I didn't use it. That's my bad. I just remembered. Okay. Uh, all right. And then... Hmm. I guess I could do this. Okay, move a being. And then for my action... Let's do doggo pet. For one? Yep. Zero. Okay, uh, so ready him up. Soothe the fatigue. Hello. And something else. That's it. Ready up, soothe the fatigue. Uh, and then mountain. Mountain. If there's an active predator, exhaust it. Not anymore. <laughs> Got rid of them all. Alrighty, okay. my turn? Uh, yep. No obstacles this time, right? I'm clear to, to proceed here? I think yep. so. Ambush, you okay. that. You can dodge so I'm going to dodge right? the rapids. Spend three, four, five, six. Six for a traverse test here. Minus one, so five. Three, four, oh, there's six total. Okay. We need eight to get out of here? Yeah, I can put, oops, I can put one more. That's not eight. No, I know. Hmm. Uh, which I'll just do. Spend one. So you can just do that at the start of the next turn? Then we yeah, can, well, oh, this that's... is gone, but I have another oh. one in hand that I can play next turn and do it, yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, unless you can get one on there, but then you have to go through all that, so that's a problem. This... Oh, sorry, I needed to two take fatigue. two fatigue for that. Yep, yep. Rough. Yeah. And you did the sun fatigue and this sun. Oh, thing. I haven't done anything yet. No, suffer fatigue. And what does it say? Hey, we're, like, we're Choose a card across. along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. If it's this card, it fatigues you. For two, right? Because it's oh, how features. many water? Oh, they're both water. Yeah. Yep. Two. Holy oh, moly! No, you're almost done. You've taken way too much fatigue. It's crazy. Yeah, I have like we're five like cards. we got to camp after this. I think. Holy moly. Yep. I got like a good setup here. I'm going on a nice clip, getting things done, and you're just like bombing your whole deck. Insane. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna uh, move this guy and put two on him. And. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could fatigue some. 
So I could interact with that. Two fatigue. No compasses though. So it's one on one. Minus one. Yep. Dang so it. I take an injury. Boom. And then I lose this all in my discard pile. Okay. I tried. I will pass. I will. I guess I'll play Healing Touch for one and remove an injury. Oh, actually, sorry. Can I rewind my pass? Do whatever. I'm going to spend whatever. one for a minute. It's going to have two bites on it. Yep. And then I will spend a bite. I can soothe one fatigue just to get cards in hand. Oh, there's the obstacle avoiding card. Yeah, but I can't have that with the canoe because they're too, gotcha. too much gear. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Now I pass. Uh, I will spend two to do a um, remember test. Minus one. So I'll look at one. I'll put it on the bottom and draw the top one. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Then mountain. Mountain. So we lacked a predator. Nope. That. You pass? Uh, yeah, I'll rest. All right. Draw one. Uh, so the cloud gets added. Yep. Ready. Ready. Draw. Token. Tokens. Okay. Uh, new cards. Yes. Rapids with ambush. This one's I don't up. think I have to do any tests, so that's good. And a silverfin carp that might help you get some fatigue, but three fatigue. Ooh. You just got to do a fit, but that's kind of... That might be worth it, actually. Okay. Um, you want me to go first? Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a bite to two fatigue. Oh, those cards are right there. I don't want them anymore because I can't. Uh, then I'm going to discard this. And then I will... Spend two. This is going to have three tokens. And then I'll spend one. Put a progress on a trail. And I'm done. You probably want to do this though, right? Do you have the stuff for that? Do you think? To pass mm -hmm. it for two? I can try. I technically have three. I could try, yeah. I don't know, but if those cards you're going to use anyway, it's like you're tossing two cards yeah. to get three. That's, I can try. I don't know. Yeah, because if Might I can be just silly. survive turns right without ambush, like I can do another. F Unless we think that we should camp before going to White Sky. But if you're already set up, as long as I'm not ambushed, I could be okay. okay I think. Let's try. I it. mean, who knows with the sun? But yeah, hopefully we'll see. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'll just move this guy back and put a couple tokens on him. And then, I guess I'll just rest. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know what else to I do. I think the only thing I do... Well, I guess I can do um, a remember test. Sorry. I'll do the remember test. Plus one. One, two, three. Could wear the boots. I could also do this. Yeah, let's take... Take this, put these on the bottom. And then sun will trigger, so suffer fatigue from that one. Okay. And then whatever this is. Uh, no active predator, right? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right, I think I will just attempt this test here for one, two, three. Okay. Zero. Okay, so soothe. Three fatigue and add two harm to that. Oh, it kills it. Boom, you caught um, the fish. I so sued three. One, two, three. All very good cards yeah, if I so need to do a get test. Us to the next okay. Location. Okay, and then back to you. I'll just rest. I will rest. Okay, so we're traveling but not camping. Yeah, we're going to push it. I have so let's see a couple if more we rounds can here. get through the next location, try to get our journey to Lone Tree Station achieved here. Yeah, I'm just going to. this day. Do this now before I forget. So I'm just adding this there for a refresh. Shook Umbra off our trail. All these can go back to the 
pivotal locations. But we will need... Uh, where are we going? White Sky? Yes. White Sky. These cards in our deck go uh, real fast. Yeah, well, no, but yours do, yeah. <laughs> For the White Sky. Okay. Umbra, we'll go back with the Valley Sets. And then we're still on water, right? So, oh, there's cards in there. Yep. Oh. So we're oh, still on water, water yep, right? Yep, yep, we're still okay. on water. Uh, okay. So these will go in here. And then we're going to refresh. Yeah, I've added a cloud already to that. Yeah, so already up. I'll draw a card. Another quiet. Tokens. Tunnel. So I have three cards remaining in my deck. Okay, I'll shuffle this better. I have some good. I have some good cards if this is a trail. Oh yeah, I'll grab a location. Nice. Can shuffle that a little bit more. Oh, oh did this need a shuffle? Yeah, sorry. And you already put a token on there yep. for a refresh. Let's get. White sky. Location, pivotal, water trail. Yes. Oh, only six. Okay. Oh, yeah. Six to get through. That's a, that's a faster one. Okay. I oh, this is the one that was just searched to dig for things in the deck. Yeah, it's getting closer to home, our home base, so it's a nicer stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Look, we only draw one path card when it's setting up. So, yeah, this place is definitely a friendlier kind of place. This was like part of the first mission oh. was going to like white sky. Okay, everyone. The, this is the last water location, so I can get rid of the canoe now and yeah, then yeah. play our um, obstacle yeah. exhaust card. There might not even be obstacles here. We even know. No, it's the same deck. The same water oh, yeah, deck. Oh, right. Is it flooded? Um, no. Oh, but let me check. Is the If the moon is in waning gibbous day 15 to 20, <laughs> I don't it think is I've probably ever, right. I don't, think the, I don't think I've ever written the moon, like this gibbous word. Well, remember we met in the festival and where the moon is, I think, was a thing. And based on certain days, if you're in a certain place, I think this might be related to that. Are we in days 15 to 20? No. What are we in? 21. Oh, we missed the festival or whatever. That's okay. Otherwise, read. <clears throat> from your vantage point, you can see much of the southern shore of White Sky Lake. From the froth of the rapids at the head of the Silverfin River, the mix of rocky promontories, promontories and pebble-strewn beaches, a slowly curve around toward the opposite shore. There you see the village of White Sky and the tiny forms of villagers going about their business on the platforms and docks. So again, if we had Mr. Mako with us, we would have read something there, which probably is related to this thing. Yeah, which I guess. But we're supposed really. to find him, but like he's somewhere else in one of the third place. We got to just bring him to this place, I guess. But we're not going over there, so mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, so there's our deck. We're going to draw, just for the lead ranger, one path card, which, of course, is an obstacle. Okay, that's okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll take care of this. overgrown portage. I will take care of that. Boom. And now we draw normal path cards, the bear, okay. and a toxin eater. And we flip this. So, again, to recap, we need six to get out. This lets us dig for path cards. But we're good. It's only one um, presence on the location. So again, to complete this mission we're working on, we just have to arrive at Lone Tree Station, which we're... Next door Basically, here. we just have to travel out of here. Yeah. And then we've arrived there, right? Yes, and I have three remaining cards in my deck. <laughs> and then we arrive there, we do some refreshing or something, then we read that, or we uh -huh. read that before. We'll find out, right? You'll read me in order what yes, we do? Yes, I will. Okay. I will. I always forget the order of all that. Would you like me to go first? Sure. Okay, so I'm going Let's to... Let's move the bear. Uh, I'm just going to play a card, so it won't matter, I don't well, think. I, yeah, you I'll go still first. Do, no, you go first. I'll do this at the start oh, okay. of any ranger turn. Move bear. Add progress to bear. Okay. I will discard canoe. Spend one to play the vaulting rod, which is a need card and has two tokens on it. I will spend one to exhaust an obstacle. Okay. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, maybe I should. Yeah, I'll do this test to pet for one. Minus one. Ooh. Uh, mountain. There's an active predator. Uh oh, there is. Uh, exhaust it and add one harm to it. And uh, harm to this being equal to that predator's presence. So two harm gets back from the bear attacking the toxin eater. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You're good. Uh, actually, yeah, because I can't. Hold on. If I attack this um, and I clear it, add two harm to each card in this area. If this being's within reach of a ranger. Oh, he wins everything. Yeah, right? let's do this. Uh, can you add three to a being? Yeah, sure. I'll add three more to this to get rid of this. It will actually, I don't know, hurt this. Other card, yeah, it doesn't even care. It's just toxins are in the air. Uh, this guy's gone. I don't get hurt. Back, I'll spend one off the whistle. Oh, does that even work? And harm to quiet equal to that being's presence. Oh yeah, it's just being, it doesn't matter. I'll prevent the two back by spinning this and exhausting the whistle. Okay. Alrighty, Good let's to go. try. So it's six. If I go for eight, then we're successful no matter what. So let's see if we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, let's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, successful no matter what. Minus one. Okay. So seven, three, six, seven. These are all discarded. Uh, I have to suffer fatigue, unfortunately, because of the sun. That's exhausted. Okay. So we're able to camp, or I mean travel. Then I'll just rest. Oh, well, maybe I'll do this little exhaust action to add another token to here. And then uh, I'll just rest. Okay. I'm not going to waste I anything. I will rest causing... as well. Okay. So now so find we... out what the order in the rule book is yep. of... For travel. When we travel and when we do the arrive at missions and all that. Yeah. I just want to know the steps. Okay, so we first clear the play area. Okay, clearing the play area of these things. We definitely won't need the water set anymore, that no. I know. And get the white sky stuff out of here. So we will no longer be in white sky. I'm going to put the river stuff back, white sky stuff back in pivotal. We are going to a pivotal, right? Yep. Oh, but maybe we don't need it yet when we read. Like, I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, it says... I'll get it, I'll get it. We have to build the path deck before we read the arrival Oh, okay. Step. I couldn't remember. I just hate setting stuff up, and then it might, like, move us somewhere or do something surprising, and it's like, I don't want to feel dumb undoing what I did, but it happens. And then I still have... If so we we're going to... to Lone Tree Station? Yes. Oh, it's going to be here. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, haven't seen those cards in a while. Since the beginning, probably. And what's the terrain we're entering there from? Uh, Lakeshore. Lakeshore? Yeah. Yeah, we're going from here to here. Oh, with the Tidewater Muckets. Been a while. And the uh, Romping oh, Laternals. Yeah, this one's not that, oh, that harmful. Oh, memories. Memories. Oh. Okay, so clear the play area. Travel to the new location. Decide to camp. We're not camping yet. We still have, we're going to push our luck here. I still have cards to get out of here if we need to. Okay. So... And then we could uh, just try to get out and then camp. Yeah, once uh, it gives us more information. Because it is like a friendlier place. This is easier deck. Yep. Uh, I think we're okay to push okay. a little bit. Like if we we're in the swamp and stuff, I'd be like, yeah, we should have camped like two locations ago. But and you're building the path deck. Then it's arrival step. So read the campaign guide entry noted on the back of the location and any missions to arrive at location result now. And then we'll refresh after that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. And then I'll have one card remaining. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yeah, because that matters in order of drawing and all that stuff sometimes, too. Yep. Okay, so arrive at attached location, 1.50. Well, I guess you do... The, sorry, you do this one first, if there's anything, because it says to read the mission card. Sorry, Mel, can you say that again? Sorry, it says to read the mission card first, in case that affects anything. So you read, read the, this one first. This is a mission card. Or No, sorry, this, the it, it said that one, and then missions. That's what I Okay. So it says, so, uh, read the campaign guide noted on the back, sorry, location card, then missions okay. to arrive at. Just in case it affects. All right, so I'm reading. Three. Not three, because that's white sky. 
I need to get Lone Tree oh. Stitch, which we can't get until we read this. Oh, so that's you're why right. I think you're wrong. Sorry, but well, that's why I'm just reading what it said. I apologize. I don't know. It's fine. All right, I'm going to read the 1.50 because we're arriving there and technically we don't have that location yet. Yeah, sorry. So technically we shouldn't have been setting up the deck. That's the weird part. It's like you're, this is it's the journey thing. It's kind of weird, right? Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's just do 1.50. Sure, it won't break too much. And if it seems like we should have it the other way around, we'll we'll do it. Oh, yeah, let's go back here. Uh, arriving at Lone Tree Station is the mission we're completing. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to drink some water before I start reading this monstrosity. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <clears throat> you stagger into the cooling shade of Lone Tree's branches and collapse. Uh, you sure you'll never hike another mile again? You close your eyes, thankful for the shade, and rest. After a few minutes, you feel someone press a cold flask into your hand. Without looking, you take a welcome swig of the icy water, and as it soothes your parched throat, you open your eyes to see Elder Thrush standing over you. She nods solemnly. Welcome back, she says. It's good to see you. You look around and realize that you must have fallen asleep. Scores, maybe even hundreds of people are gathering around Lone Tree Station. And even as you watch, the swift banks high overhead. Oh, the swift, that's the flying thing. Yeah, the swift banks high overhead and comes into the dock at the mast atop the station. Thrush follows your gaze. People are coming from all over the valley. Everyone has the same report. The reclaimers are gone. Yeah, they're worm food. And even as we speak, those that aren't uh, are being hunted by villager and ranger alike. She looks back at you, and you see a small smile crack her normally imperceptible features. The valley is safe. Yes. Complete the journey, Lone Tree Station mission. Uh, read the following text. No, read the text following each entry that you have in the campaign tracker. Oh, God. How, do we have reclaimers washed away? Probably not, right? Because we didn't wash no, them away. No, they were consumed. Ale's lost? Mm, nope. Ale redeemed? I don't think we did that. No, that was I the don't guy think we followed that yeah, storyline. I think that was the brother that we didn't really do. Yeah. Reclaimers consumed? Yep. The marsh of rebirth has turned into an ab abattoir of water and mud as the hydroworms feast upon the reclaimers that are drawn in inexorably, inexorably into the swamp by Cassandi's lure. As fast as they spawn, the reclaimers swarm the swamp and are consumed. Just yell at me if you see anything that's... So Kasende yeah. lost, no. Kasende almost smiled, yes. You're startled by a tap on your shoulder. You turn to see Kasende wearing a new camel weave cloak. Cordo told me you take whatever I want. Cordo told me to take whatever I wanted, she says. Examining the cloak, I think those hydroworms don't stand a chance. What do you think? You wholeheartedly agree. Fire fallen? No. Oh, wow, that's a thing? Stood up to Cal. Yes, that was the first thing I wrote down. You feel a hand on your shoulder and you turn to Cal, standing over there, his face solemn. He stares at you, then says, We've been rivals for a while now, but after all this, I just want to say, I'll go out on patrol with you anytime. Sorry, what was that one about the Cassandre above? I just have another one for Cassandre. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss. Uh, Lost. Okay, no, no, no. We have it saved. Okay. Stood up to Cal. We got... um. Impressed, no. No. Uh, missed it? Mm. No. That evening, you all sit down to a hearty feast prepared by none other than High Pimpot. In this moment, there is no tragedy, no fear, no problems. In this moment, there is only you, your friends and neighbors, sharing food and drink together, enjoying the bounty of life. Tomorrow is another day, but until it comes, you know you can ignore it. There will always be work to be done. There will always be people in need. But in this moment, you can relax, knowing you fulfilled your oath to the valley and its people. Your ancestors smile upon you. And in this moment, you are content. The story of the Reclaimers is complete. Continue playing to discover all that you may have missed. Yeah, oh. I see the size of the reward deck. I would be playing for another 21 days to get all that stuff. But that is exactly designed, like I said... Like a Zelda Breath of the Wild, Fallout, Grand Theft Auto, any of those kind of like open world sandbox, you know, um, Red Dead Redemption, all those kind of ones that have like a main quest line.
tons of side quests, and once you beat the main quest, you can still roam the world and do all the stuff you missed, which I like. Or like the Spider-Man games, have like anything with the kind of hidden side things. That's cool. Uh, but gain the Valley Secrets mission. You get another mission, end the day. Oh, oh I guess that would... Oh, Minion says, thank you, Minion. It says, congrats on beating the story. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. so we beat the so, story. Yeah, then... we, we beat the main mission, but there's another mission. Hold on, hold on. We, there's another mission, one sec. Valley Secret, oh, is that like a, like a extra like bonus thing maybe? Let's find it, let's find it and look. Minion, thank you for 13 months. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, hold on. Valley Secrets. Valley Secrets. Oh, it was on the back of, oh, oh. it was on the back of Remove the Reclaimers, that one that sat there forever. <laughs> That one that we just had sitting there about the three different options, and I'm like, there's no way to complete this one. It's going to sit there forever. Um, but it was on the back of it. Oh, look at this. With the reclaimers gone from the valley, you can return to helping the inhabitants. When each of the following entries are written in your campaign tracker, jeez oh. Louise. So these are all the stories and the things that we declined to help Sa people with. I'm assuming that's side quest stuff. Yeah. Do we have some of these? Oh, found the f perfect fishing spot we did. Yeah, so this is... Met an inter interloper, Yeah, we, we did that. Uh, spoke with a spirit. So it's basically just no. going to all the locations, finding those people, or using um, the places that let you grab people from the valley deck to meet them, and then take them to paint things and hike things and find people homes and yeah. help them with their coyotes in their backyard, whatever. All those kind of things. That's oh, celebrate we the did. harvest festival. That's what we missed. Oh, that's what we missed. We did get the honey. Oh, we got can the you not do some of these then? Are you locked out if Face you miss your them? deepest fears? We, yeah, phaser, I, we did face your deepest fears. That's yeah, fine. But there's still so many. Like, that just shows you that we missed so much stuff on, like, our first play. Yeah. That technically we could continue. Just like when Gloomhaven, we did the story, we kept playing a little bit. Yeah. Um, same idea. Like, it's just an open-ended sandbox game with, like, a main quest and tons and tons of side quest stuff. Um, but it is cool on a playthrough, like, that you can miss so much and then play it again and try to find some of these things. Yeah, that's on, cool. On the second playthrough or just continue your regular playthrough. Yeah, so now just go out in the world to find these people and help them do whatever they were trying but, to do. But like some of those video games, I think you can miss stuff. Because if, if the Harvest Festival or something is tied to certain days and we missed it, or if, I don't know if anyone got removed from our campaign. Is there anything we can, there's probably stuff you can miss. Maybe it's designed that you can Maybe. always get everything. Yeah. Prune the Hydra Worm. Because, like, I wonder if some of the people that you picked one option to do with them, and then, you know, every time you talk to them, you read a different option. Like, can you do the other option you chose? You know what I mean? I, I'm curious. I wonder I if they know. designed it so you can get all these done after. I would hope so. And You, can't you would hope them. so because it says, uh, like, when each of the following. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't see a person fly? Didn't you fly? I guess we didn't see ourselves fly. No, remember it was that one, uh, was, I think that was the sister of the brother who did the flooding. The sister yeah. was trying to do some magical device thing to like do jumps and flips. That, yeah, we didn't see a person fly, Yeah, and if we helped her, I'm sure there was like a reward to help us do that. Or maybe we got it, I don't even know, but erected a mighty statue. That was really that uh, one, I remember. Yeah. But I don't know, we did it. We probably didn't do We witnessed a masterpiece. So oh, I don't that's think we what, finished it. was different, yeah. Oh. Found Tala home. I remember we kept... Helping her and then finding out about her wanting a home, but then we're like, nah, we ain't got time for you. Get out of Find here. Your own home. You're so needy. <laughs> we got missions to complete. Screw yeah. your side quest. <laughs> oh, Minion says Harvest Festival was something like every six days, so I don't think oh, it's missable. Okay. That's cool, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I can't remember, but that's cool, though. Yeah, that's cool. This just screams video game, though. That is so neat. Like, this is, this is like a Skyrim. This is like designed like those kind of games. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, and just like those, you bring up your menu, you have all these side quests you started, the main quest, how you're progressing. Then you like don't play for a while, you come back, you're like, oh, what did I need to do again? And yeah, so fun. Imagine going to try to find all those people again, because like we didn't record where any of them were. You can just play this game. So I keep making fun that they're like, okay, the expansion that was part of the first crowdfunding still hasn't come. And they did a whole other crowdfunding campaign, and it's still going to be a year plus for that expansion, uh, which kind of sucks. Um, but if you're sitting here and you're going to play once a week and you're going to try to find all these, you might be good until that expansion arrives. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Like, I bet you can't find some of those playing a few sessions, like, because you, you won't see some of those people in the valley set. You'll have to go to certain places to bring them into play. Mm -hmm. Hopefully find them and have enough time in the day to get their thing done because, because of their side quests, they always reset if you don't get their things started and finished in the same 
session. Yeah. Uh, which is interesting. So there's like a challenge to it too. Like it's not just easy. Go to the place, talk to this person, check. No, let's go to the place, get there, have enough time to talk to them, start their thing and finish it. And if you don't, camp. And then find them again the next day. Hopefully they're still there and they were shuffled into the deck or not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can find them in the time before you run out. So it's like, that's quite challenging actually to do all that stuff. That's neat. That is neat for someone who wants to play the same game for like a long time. That's like, that's heavy value, but not everyone wants to. Like, I love that they did this, but I just want to play other games. So I'm at the point where like, okay, I'll wait till expansion comes. Yeah. Uh, and then just do more of the story stuff, but... That is awesome. Interesting to know, and I wonder if that will kind of change our mentality when playing next time. Knowing that I'm like, not gonna... there's like, oh, we should try to collect as many side missions. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I'd play different knowing that. And they may not even do something like that. They may do something completely different. Or maybe because they know you played before, they give it to you right at the beginning. Oh, uh, as like, like try to fi- Try to find these things, and you're just like, what do these even mean? And then yeah. like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, the other thing I want to show and talk about now that it's done, well, yeah, not done. The game's not done, but our stream of it, I'm assuming, is, like, we beat story, so I've been having enough people wanting us to play other LCGs that we probably should cycle in at some point. Um, so I only want to play one LCG at a time, so this gives us some time before we come back to this. Um, I won't look at all these up close or anything, but... Uh, we never got a lingering in- injury, so these oh, are, yeah. I have them in the same slot as the rewards, so I just wanted to show, and there's probably two of every reward that's in here, but this is how many rewards we did not unlock. That's crazy. And I'm sure some of these are tied to those secret missions, and some are tied to other ones that aren't on that checklist, I'm sure, or other options of story stuff we did or didn't do, like based on choices we made, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a lot. That is a lot. So... That just shows you if you want to play again and you do a different deck, a different build and focus on different aspects, you might find different cards that you'll put in your deck and your ranger deck will be like different and you'll have different upgrades. Like, I feel like we changed our deck a handful of times, but not that much. Not that much, no. And I bet if we we were... Me more than you. I I bet if we wandered more and weren't pushing the story, quote unquote, so hard, um, yeah, we would have had our decks like very different from where they started. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, feel, not that you can put everything in the deck because they have requirements, but um, that's a lot of player cards that we never even saw. Yeah. Which is, that's like, that is cool. That All that is designed and like not everyone will see it all, which is neat. It's kind of like all these big epic campaign games that have branching paths and are like legacy style. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I feel like I changed my deck up quite a bit because I think I took most of the, if not all, of the rewards that came out. <laughs> Jacko says, well, I watched every episode of a game with a theme I had no interest in and no intention of backing. Guess that says something about the game, you guys, or my life in general. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Just kidding. Very nice, very nice. Oh, that was a fun game, though. I it is was, very good. I really enjoyed it. Again, not for everybody. Again, yeah. the theme is a little different, but it's like the theme fits what they did with the mechanics and the difficulty and stuff, where it's like, you know, you're out of ranger school, like you're just... Here's this place to discover and what the hell's going on with it. And there's like this archaeology thing. Like we didn't do it, but like I'm curious what's going on there. And Mm -hmm. there's other side missions we never did. People we didn't meet. Places we didn't even go on this giant map. Yeah, we never went to that one secret place you can only get to with the boat. Yeah, so we'll leave. What's in there? We'll leave that. We'll leave uh, Headwater Station for you to discover on your own. I'll leave you that for you to discover on your own. We did, as you said, we did go to most locations. In the center of the map, just in the outskirts, yeah, along we, the edges. Maybe we, we like rushed through some places, middle. but yeah. I yeah, don't like, think I don't we, like we the, down this. We didn't go like to the furrow or the terravore, like because we didn't go up that far side. I don't yeah, think. same with like this side. We went yeah. like more through into the. Yeah, middle. we were like drop, and especially I forgot the boat. We like stayed in the middle. Yeah. Uh, which is sick. I don't know. This game is really cool. Really well done. Um, there's a lot of junk uh, in this game. Like so much stuff that like. Yeah, the different terrain decks, like, yeah, very well done. I don't know. I like it. I love the change of pace. I love the chill nature. Don't get me wrong. I love Lord of the Rings LCG, but that game is super difficult. You need a super specific deck to solve each thing. You have to rebuild your deck between each one. I like this more Arkham Horror style where you're slowly evolving your deck as you play through the story and campaign. Mm -hmm. Um, and, And the cool part is it's giving us cards to put in, not just we have to go through a giant collection of cards to put stuff in. Right. Like the way it's kind of locked that you'll lock your deck in sort of at the beginning. Yes, you can change it throughout with all those different interactions 
at different places and you can adjust your deck. Obviously, that'll be more interesting once you add a player card expansion to the game and have even more player starting cards to choose from to switch up based on what's happening. Um, but the idea that you unlock cards through the play that you then can add to your decks, I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool game. The theme, the story, the like neat world is just refreshing and different. Like it's, again, it's like Breath of the Wild, some futuristic like space sci-fi, like sci-fi fantasy kind of thing going on. Uh, it's neat. Definitely a cool game. Definitely a cool game. Yeah, I agree. The fact that I never got a weapon. Yeah, I think I only had one weapon. And I never really used it as a weapon. Yeah, I, I mean, I consider this my weapon. <laughs> the yeah. fact we fought a giant beast that's in the deck that's hunting out in the wild and you run into randomly, and I tamed it. And I think you can do the same with Umbra. Oh, could you imagine? Based on some of the stuff we saw prompted to us. Um, but that, like, not everyone who's going to play this is going to find Quiet, tame Quiet, and have Quiet as a weapon, basically, in your deck for fighting. Yeah. Uh, for, like, harming things. But yeah, without me harming things, uh, or without me having weapons in a deck, and we had threats, and we're exploring, uh, yeah, I, I still was doing things and surviving. It's such like a cool theme and design. It's just uh, so neat. And you took care of, I would say, like 90% of all the beings that we yeah, encountered. Literally by my <laughs> ferret, my yeah. ferret and my dog like running around in circles yeah. around the creature to distract it. Until it got tired and went ran away. Yep. And then every now and then I'd bite it with my cat. I do think though that the rangers that we picked or like the combination that we had worked really, really uh, yeah. well for us and our play styles. I did that on purpose, yeah. I think. I remember what we set it up. I don't know if I it was a pre built deck. So I think we did the two pre built decks. Yeah, we did, I think. That looked like they work well together. I think yeah. it was recommended to play these two if you're playing two player. Maybe not. Maybe I, I just did now, it because but... they had opposite stats or something. Yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah, definitely cool. Yeah, that went cool. I agreed. Yeah, very well done. Very well done. You're gonna miss that pet dog. Yes, I will. I know, right? Yeah, it's crazy. My little animal friends. Yeah. Hmm. That's it. That's it. It's over. <laughs> That's it for Earthborn Rangers. <laughs> but it's another campaign. Yeah, we, we finished through, the campaign. That we finished, so that was fun. I want to say that less and less as we play games on the channel, <laughs> that we finished an entire campaign. You want to say it less? Yes. Yeah, okay. And it was 21-ish sessions. Yeah, we were on day 21. We were close, though, having to camp. Which is like on the long end I want a campaign game to be nowadays, mm -hmm. and I prefer it even less. I feel like... Somewhere between like 10 and 15, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to get it there. That's where my kind of like, yeah, that's where I'm kind of getting at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to avoid, I'm sure I backed games within the last few years that still haven't shown up, that have giant epic campaigns that I'm going to regret when they show up, but I'm definitely going to try to avoid that kind of stuff going forward and, and relax a bit on that, but I just don't want to play a game that far. And, I, and part of the completionist part of me hates quitting in the middle of a campaign, even though it's like good, it's fine, most people don't care, but yeah. Anyways, so now that we've close up an LCG, we're going to put it to the side. Hopefully in a year-ish, we'll get the expansion. It'll show up. Oh, we did back it. Back the player expansion. Backed all the gameplay stuff. So when that shows up, I'm assuming in a year to a year and a half, uh, and at the right time, again, we might be in the middle of playing some other LCG, but technically we have four living card co-op living card games that we could be playing at any time. Plus other campaign -y games that aren't living the four LCGs, you know? Right. So, but I don't ever want to play more than one LCG at a time on the channel. So I hate, like, the, the way we're in the middle of this campaign now. Looking back, there's people, like, we're on, like, episode five going, can you please play Lord of the Rings? It's like, listen. And it's then whenever hard. I play Lord of the Rings, there's someone commenting, can you please play Arkham Horror? Mm -hmm. And whenever I'm playing Arkham Horror, there's someone going, when are you going to play Marvel Champions? And it's like, it's just, I can never please everybody. What so do they like, ask you to play the least? Or does it just vary? Probably Marvel, on... well, this, because nobody asks Oh, us, yeah. Because this Cause... hasn't stopped. And right. Like, now we've completed this, so like... So yeah, nobody's going to be asking. They're just they going to say, when, when are you going to get played the like, If they know about the secrets missions, uh, they'll be like, why don't you play more with Burn Rangers? Because I want to see you do all those secrets missions. Uh, not happening. Have we decided what we're playing next? No, but I, I, that's a long minute to no. We're we're not sure yet. So there, there's I don't know who it was. I forget the name. 
Uh, but there was somebody who was like literally going on every post and m random videos just keep saying, please play Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Or like, can you please hurry up and play it or something? They keep just saying random stuff like, can you please play it? And they've been doing it for uh, like a month or two. And they'll post on like, uh, in the community tab of the web page of, of our YouTube page where I just ask like, you know, a Gloomhaven question, uh, Gloomhaven poll. They're like commenting on that. Um, so I just said, no, no, I'm not going to play it just because they keep asking. Uh, but honestly, I do want to play Lord of the Rings. I just don't know if I'll play the Two Towers thing first or if we play the um, Grey Havens campaign that I've never, ever played, never seen those cards, never owned them in my collection. So it'd be nice to play something that I've never like looked at and owned for like eight years. Um, so it's cool to get that. And uh, part of me wants to get Lord of the Rings back on the channel just because I, I love Lord of the Rings IP. Mm-hmm. But I know the Arkham Horror campaign is it got delayed till April in Canada. I got the, the the investigator box. I thought my whole order was ready. I went to the store and they're like, Yeah, it's just partially fulfilled. Here's the one box. And I'm like, where's the other box? And they're like, oh, it got delayed a week. A week passed, and then they announced it got delayed like a month in Canada. I don't know. So it's coming in sometime in April. So technically we can't play Arkham Horror, the new campaign. We have the uh, Dream Eaters or something we never have played, so technically there's that campaign. But part of me is thinking and feeling that, like, I don't want to play Arkham Horror right now. I kind of am okay if, if that campaign expansion just doesn't show up in Canada for, like, six months and we play it around Halloween. That would be fine. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get in the mood to play it, but honestly, I'm more in the mood to play Lord of the Rings out of okay. all of them. And even a little bit of Marvel. Oh, it's been a while. After all the X Men '97 talk stuff, but I haven't. I want to go back and watch X Men cartoon again, uh, but that will take months mm -hmm. for me to find and go back and spend the time to fit those episodes into where into my schedule. I'm not just going to sit there and binge them like all day long. I know they're just short cartoons and probably will whiz by, but sometimes back in the day, those had like twenty something episodes a season. Those kind of shows, so I don't know. Uh, but I was told George told me it's four seasons only. Oh, okay. And then the new one just started, so that would get me in the mood for X Men, which I know there's like an X Men campaign box, like we haven't played. The, I think that came out already. Maybe another one that's come out. I don't even know. So I stopped buying Marvel Champions uh, until we get in the mood to play it again. And I have seen people talk about selling their entire collections except for the X Men stuff because they reprinted a lot of cards from the all the Avengers stuff. And just put X-Men art on it. Oh, So okay. technically you could start in the game by the core set and just get X-Men stuff. And they thought about people buying it that way. Smart. So you can have all X-Men themed stuff and not Avenger stuff, which is kind of neat. And it, you still have some of the base cards. But there are cards that you won't own that people love in decks that you should just own all of it. But So we could potentially play Lord of the Rings, then play some Marvel. We'll see. Giving time for Arkham but to come the, and then be able to play it as here's well. Here's the problem. I might not jump into any of them for uh, a couple weeks, months. I don't even know. Um, because I might want to just play other games for a while and stay out of the lifestyle LCGs. I see Nick mentioning um, Star Wars Unlimited, you know? like I guess it is a card game. It is a lifestyle game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't consider that taking up the slot of uh, playing an LCG because it's like LCGs, the cooperative LCGs have like a story going on and its own giant rule set and all that stuff that you got to get all the nuances and the keywords back in your memory right. as you play it. So I don't like to play more than one or two lifestyle games at a time because there's just way too many keywords and mulligan rules and things to just remember and then it kind of crosses over. And then I start lowering my enjoyment of each one because I struggle with each one. Uh, it's nice to just dive deep into one and enjoy it fully rather than putting a toe in one and then dipping your toe in the other. Um, so yeah. So right now, if you were to ask me which LCG you're playing next, I would say probably Lord of the Rings. But again, I might not do it for another month-ish, and then I'm in the mood for playing Arkham. The box shows up. Or maybe I'm in the mood for, I see, the, I'm in the local game store, and I see the X-Men stuff sitting on a shelf. And I'm like, oh man, I want all the X-Men stuff, and I buy some more X-Men stuff, and then we're playing an X-Men campaign. Although those are only like four episodes on the channel. They're super yeah, they're short. Very short. Very short, very light, not that deep. Um, but yeah, I, I think Lord of the Rings would be the next one. That's what I'm itching for. But we might just play some other games in the meantime. And then when I feel like playing another LCG and building some decks and all that, it'll probably be Lord of the Rings. But don't quote me on that. 
because I like to go just in the mood and what's showing up. But again, there could be other games. Maybe we start some Seven Citadel or something, and we just play that yeah. for a while. That's like a lifestyle, could take forever kind of game. Maybe we play that two player. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, no, no Marvel United, no Marvel United. Um, I don't want to play any children's games on the channel. Whoa, what happened to all those dislike? Who clicked all those dislike <laughs> buttons? What just happened? <laughs> no, no. If I'm going to play some X-Men on my table, it's going to be a better game than and than Marvel United. Yeah, I said it. Shots fired. Shots fired. Yeah, no, no children's X-Men games. No children's X-Men games. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Twin Suns thing. Okay, so Kyle has agreed uh, to come and play more Star Wars. I scheduled that for Wednesday. Uh, I'll try to rope Mel into that. We'll just play some casual little two-player games. Mm -hmm. um, but at some point, I'll try to figure out... See, uh, Nick, uh, uh, like, I think we'll play some Twin Suns at a local game store first to wrap my head around it. Like, we did play a little bit like a fake Twin Suns game, so we understood, like, the flow of it. But that's, like, a whole other world. I don't want to just stream it for the first time where we're all, like, so confused, like, trying to, like, do it. And Kyle's only played, like, two games ever. So I kind of want him to like really get used to the game first before we maybe do that, but we'll see. We will see. We will see. So don't hold me to the Twin Suns thing again. Like, I know we can stream it, but like, I want it to be like so we can show it off in its best light. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's other channels you can go watch some Twin Suns gameplay on and, and how it works if you're curious about it. So don't wait for me to stream it. If we stream it one day, it's just... Hopefully by then I've played a few games not on stream, so we're I'm comfortable with it, and I can like know what I'm doing. And and I'm assuming there'll be some maybe already people are posting deck lists, but if I could just like net deck some decks that are kind of balanced, so I don't accidentally play because I pair two leaders together and put a bunch of cards in that I have like a super powerful deck, and then I accidentally give Kyle one that's kind of weak. Oh yeah, I want it and to he be is like fun. yeah, I want everyone to have a chance, and it'd be fu kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and with a small card pool, I'm sure it's you can't choose that many cards anyway because you have to put 50 cards in the deck and only one copy of each. And there's only so many of the colors you can put in. But uh, also I have a pool that for one player that I'm splitting amongst three people. So we'll also figure that out too. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So we'll see. But it's interesting. Finish a campaign game. It's been a while since we've done that. It has. Feels weird. Also there's Frosthaven still to kind of finish. Mm -hmm. maybe we'll see <laughs> we'll see if i i bet i could just not and nobody would notice um but we'll see maybe not there are people that love watching us play that too and i, I do love playing that uh, frost salmon's awesome you don't want to pull out that new character again and no i do want to play that new character that was <laughs> fine that was fine it's just there's so many other games that we've not streamed i know or haven't played in so long that i have like new expansions for and stuff that i just want to play you know so we'll see. It's spring. Springtime's here. It's like time to try some new stuff. And then Gen Con is like going to come so fast. It is. Gen Con is only months away. Event tickets are going to go up. New games are going to be announced. We're going to be playing, I'm assuming, uh, Star Wars Unlimited there mostly. But there will be some other new games that come up and publishers that maybe give us new games there and stuff. Who knows? Um, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, where'd those months go? And then like... I didn't get to play some of those other games I wanted to play because I'm still stuck in Frosthaven and these kind of things. So, yeah. Uh, no, Hemlock, Hemlock Vale is the, the That's, Arkham Horror thing I yeah, was saying, right? Yeah, no, it has not. No, it got delayed till April in Canada. I have the I have the investigator box, but not the campaign box. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you try to put a singleton deck together, maybe we can try a real Twin Suns on Thursday before the event... I was thinking that, Nick, I was thinking that, yeah, to whip one together. But I did see Scotty said he had four that he put together. So if anyone doesn't have one, can just play if we have time. So I don't know if I'll have time to put together um, a Twin Suns one. Because I still have to build decks for, like, what we're going to play with on stream on Wednesday. And then potentially you may have to disassemble, right? Some of them if you need some of the yeah, cards. I, yeah, I would for sure. Because, like, yeah. some legendaries only have one of or none of rares. Some I don't, I don't have a full set of yet. And, like... So I might have to split them into two different decks and mm -hmm. stuff and rip them out of my constructed decks. Yeah. So I think I might just borrow one of his if I get there in time that we can play Twin Suns. 
But even just watching you guys play, if I show up, like, before, if we do a draft, I show up before it, like, a half hour before, I could just sit there and watch. Like, obviously, I'm, I love, like, watching games being played, too, or else I wouldn't be doing this. And I could pick up a lot from that, too. I, like, that's what I do. I go to Gen Con. I spend hours just watching demos. Uh, there are Twin Suns decks. Oh, they do have built decks on there, Jacko? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So that would help, too. That would save me time if I could just whip some decks together fast. Uh, before I go on Thursday. That makes sense. Okay. So when is it, when is Hogwarts battle coming back? <laughs> I would love to play that again, but I don't know that, I don't know that that will happen. Have they released new content for it? No, probably Oh, never. darn. Too bad. Otherwise, oh, I'd I bust it out that. right now. No, it's fine, but I'd rather play other stuff. I know, I know. We spent so much. so fun, We though. played so much of that stuff on channel. I want to give some other games some love that haven't been played on the channel. Uh, that game got lots of love on the yeah, channel. Yeah, we played all through the whole campaign and then through like some of the monster boxes and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, we played a lot of that. Yeah, so fun though. But yeah, I want to play some stuff that I've not played before or I've not got to stream yet that I've played before. That would be fun. Oh, you don't actually want Hogwarts Battle back. You're joking. About, about me not, not playing, playing kids, kids games? games? Hey now, I really enjoy that game. That was not a children's <laughs> game. I mean... There was lots of... Fighting and combat and killing evil wizards and stuff. Yeah, and I guess it's debatable. Death potions and things. It's based on the Toy Story version. I was probably swearing on stream a lot about things in the game that annoyed out a hell out of me. So that was definitely not a, a stream for children. Mm -hmm. That game caused me to swear. So it definitely is not a children's game. Jana has a question for you. What does twin sons mean? Uh, so when uh, a woman is pregnant, sometimes <laughs> can uh, be pregnant with two human babies in her and if they're both boys and they're both birthed uh, at the same time uh, through the same pregnancy then they're called twins and they would be both sons if they're male <laughs> so that's what a twins twin sons are you're smart ass you know that <laughs> I expect like three slaps from Janet at least when I see her at Gen Con at least three she's too nice she'll forget by at then. least three at least three like hits you idiots <laughs> like quit being an a-hole but uh. Minion has a good question why do you have to spe specify human babies so I, I, I don't know what animal do you call their, their little cubs and stuff sons I don't know <laughs> I don't know I just oh thought sons God. like s-o-n-s but yeah. it's s-u-n-s so twin sons <laughs> uh hold on twin sons star wars watch i'll show you i i think this is what it's from uh is it from like the two sons oh it's related to rebels isn't it like the two sons on tatooine isn't that what the twin sons are nope there's a pair of bounty hunters called the twin sons Man, I thought I knew what it was, but I don't even know. So it's a format in Star Wars Unlimited where you can play uh, three to five-ish players. You can play more if you want. It's designed for four, but it's a multiplayer format to play the competitive game. So picture like uh, when you're playing Lorcana, Janet, and you're going like 1v1, uh, <laughs> the angry faces. <laughs> uh, so when you're playing Lorcana, you do 1v1. Um, it's like if you were playing Lorcana and there was four of you at the table, and it's free for all. So everyone's kind of can attack everyone. Everyone can kind of uh, be political and, you know, maybe I'll attack that guy if you don't attack me, Mel. Like, you know, I won't exhaust your character if you don't attack me next turn. Or I won't kill your leader if, you know, this kind of thing. Or that person keeps attacking my units, guys. I'm going to die. I need help, you know. So it's like basically whoever has the most health at the end of the game out of the four-ish players. So you can play three player. You can play five. They recommend four. Or three to four they recommend, I think. They just say five goes a little too long uh, for what they wanted, but you can totally do it. But you basically play with the health on your base, so like your life points, and it's not whoever's last left standing. It's whoever, when the game ends, has the most health left on their base. And when a player gets eliminated by losing all their health on their base, uh, that starts the last round of the game. And when you eliminate a player, you actually get to heal five health from your base, which helps with the victory condition, so you're incentivized to actually take out other players, which also speeds the game up, but also watch your base health and negotiate and, and be, you know play games. and Yeah, so it's not player elimination. It's not like you eliminate one player and then they're like, oh, crap, you guys are going to play for another 45 minutes? 
I'm going to go play on my phone, go get a drink, go to the bathroom. No, it's once that one player is eliminated, it, you literally finish the round. So it should only be a few more back and forth turns. And then maybe only one player got eliminated from the game. Maybe three did. Maybe all four could technically get eliminated because two people can hit each other and like eliminate each other at the same time. But it, it's whoever is alive at the end with the most health on the base. Yeah, I don't know what happened in that weird situation where you can knock each other out at the same time. Which does happen in that game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, and they give you extra tokens. So if you've ever seen Star Wars Unlimited, there's the initiative token. They've added two other kind of initiative tokens. One that when you're done, you can take and it does damage to everyone else's base. That shows that you pass for the rest of the round. You take the initiative. That shows you pass for the rest of the round. You go first next round. And then they have the planning token that you take. And that lets you draw a card and then take one of your cards in your hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. So it allows you to kind of like filter and dig. Um, and then you pass for us round. There is no soft passing in Twin Suns. Mm. So you can't just go pass. And then the next guy goes pass, 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 pass. You know, and then one guy takes a turn. And then you pass again. It's meant to be quick. So you can't just soft pass. You have to do something or you pick up a token and you're out for the round. Um, and you get to play with two leaders and one base. So that allows you to pick from three different colors-ish. Well, technically four. Uh, you can only pair hero leaders with hero leaders, and you can only pair villain leaders with villain leaders. So you could pick like, you know, a green hero leader and a red hero leader, and then take a blue base, and then pick stuff from all those colors and not pay extra. But again, in Star Wars Unlimited, the same deck building rules apply, where you can play any card in the card pool, you will just have to pay aspect penalty costs for cards playing that you don't have the proper aspect for. So it's interesting. And there's a lot of cards they put in the game on purpose that you can tell are meant for that multiplayer format, where they're like, select the player, or select this many players, or hit all players' bases, or exhaust multiple characters, and like, you don't have to pick just one target, you could affect multiple players at the table. I didn't realize it wasn't player elimination. No, they, they designed it very smart, to be like, doesn't take forever, you can do tournaments around it, and it's very structured, kind of. Mm. Um, That's cool. Yeah, it's very neat. It's not like most of those multiplayer games like this where like, oh, one person got eliminated early because three people teamed up on them. Mm -hmm. And then they sit there for an hour watching everyone else play. Yeah, that's no fun. Not fun. And that player doesn't have to, yeah, sit there eliminating the other two players. It's literally like, you know, you're like trying a fine line of like, maybe you get a player almost eliminated and you look and you're, you're like in last place for health and you're like, oh crap. I don't want that person to get eliminated right now. So then you start attacking the people who might eliminate them to try to like get them off their back and defeat their characters. Because hmm. you want it to like the last round to start when you're in a good position to be having the most health. So there's like all this like nuance around it, which I find very fascinating. But I have like zero experience with it playing it. So I want to like learn a bit of that. But we've played Game of Thrones Melee before, mm -hmm. uh, which it definitely, you can tell the designers played a crap ton of that and put that into their thought. I mean, that's another FFG game. But in Game of Thrones, the card game, the living card game first edition, they had a melee format that had the same idea when you you take little rolls, the, the master of coin and stuff, and all these little things that did abilities for you. Lots of negotiating, lots of attacking each other and all that stuff. Um, which was very fun. And it's very cool to see that played. But those games could take like hours and hours and hours. So they definitely fixed that kind of idea. But yeah. Yeah, Apophenia, uh, yeah, Apophenia says, I like Game of Thrones Melee. I played a bunch of it. Mm -hmm, yeah, You'll fun. see the, the the stuff that they took from that and put in the Star Wars Unlimited Twin Suns format. Uh, very neat, very neat. And uh, definitely some of that negotiation stuff comes out for sure. And the little roles are kind of like kind of in there, but uh, yeah, it's that same kind of format, but in, you're playing Star Wars and like, yeah, it's neat. Let's see. Oh, Mike says, okay, dinner's finally done. You can start now. <laughs> Son of a <clears throat> sorry, Mike. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just cool. It's cool stuff. I don't know, it's cool. Uh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Minion say it when the player gets knocked out. Yeah. It's such a cool format, so different. And like different deck building philosophies for that format. Obviously, different player strategies. Mm -hmm. You can't just slam the best cards on the table at certain times because then you'll become a target unless you really know like you're going to do it right. But when you're playing like two player, you're like, I'm going to jam this out. I'm obviously going after this person in front of me. Yeah. But if you play that big bomb card in the four player variant, you have to like kind of justify to some of the players at the table. Don't worry, I'm not going to use this card on you. 
I'm playing this character to go after this guy who's in the lead. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. And really, you're like, yeah, right. I'm going to eliminate this guy right beside me. And then I'll start the end of the game because I'm in the lead with lots of health. And I'm going to win. Screw you all. So lots of fun like that. Uh, that's the, like, travel version of Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of people are talking about it right now. Did it just... Did yeah. everyone just get it? I guess. I don't know. I have no interest in it, Velco, really. No interest. I can't even finish Frosthaven. What the hell do I want another Gloomhaven anything for? <laughs> I can't even finish the Gloomhaven puzzle. Like, why do, why do I you want... You did. It's done. I know. You guys finished it. I didn't finish it. Uh, but yeah. Why would I want another Haven thing? Come on, man. <laughs> just kidding. No. No, no, no. I want to play some other dungeon crawlers, I think, before I, I touch another Haven product. I still need to finish Frost here. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Rob, find the corners from L. Oh, yeah, Jacko. I did find Resist, by the way. I finally got a copy of that, even though I know there's that other witch. witch themed version of it that maybe I should have got instead, somebody was saying. <clears throat> but I finally got it. I forgot to tell you. I think I forgot to tell you. Maybe I told you. I don't that's know. That's the one anymore. you got at Gen Con, I think, right? Or that's one that That's the one I was supposed to grab a copy Jack of Gen Con. Jack got it at Gen Con, yes. said it was good and we should have. Well I already had it on my wish list well before Gen Con. Couldn't find it in stock. Mm -hmm. He showed me it at Gen Con. I went, oh yeah, mental note. I'll grab that before we leave Gen Con. Yeah, we never totally did. forgot. And then got home and it still was out of print forever. Finally came in stock. I grabbed a copy. But witchcraft I haven't seen around here yet, so I'll worry about that after I play Resist. But yes. Both people say, are still, people have tried witchcraft, say like they're both good for their own reasons, but maybe witchcraft might be better, but some people think the other one's better. So I'm like, ah, whatever, I'll just play one of them and get a good idea of the game system and stuff. So, But yeah, at some point i got to play that too. That's solo only? Yes. Nice, okay. Will you be playing the Adramon campaign book? When it shows up, that would be excellent. Uh, no, I don't think so. I gotta still go back and play the other one. And I just haven't found time or like a passion to sit down and get back into Explore to do that. But like, I don't think I would play um, any of the campaign books uh, until I go back and Mel and I sit down and play the other one. They're cool and I wanna do it, but it's like, uh, there's so many other games I, I like. I spent hours playing Hexplorer on the channel. Mm -hmm. Lots of people know Hexplorer because I played it on the channel. I'm very glad of that. I'm very thankful for that. But there's many other games that I want to play too. And playing games I already know is like, I'm getting kind of like the itch to play things I've not played. And I know like, I want to play Lord of the Rings LCG, for example, but not right now. But I do want to play the campaign that I've never played. And I haven't played the other one, the Saga Two Towers. But I just haven't played that, I feel like, in so long. But I just, I love that stuff. And I haven't played those two campaigns ever. So those to me are kind of, like, new-ish. New, yeah. new yeah. New content for a yeah. game that we've played. But the same thing could be said about the, the Hexplorit campaign books. But I just never, like, yeah. I'm a consumer, right? I spend money on this stuff, I buy it. Like, I'm not going to go just buy a bunch of campaign books and I never even finish the first one. I try to avoid doing that stuff. I try to still be a smart, like, consumer, too. Um, so yeah, it's just like the Hexplorer stuff just keeps coming out with stuff. I had to tell Jonathan, like, okay, I'll, I'll maybe reach out in the future, but for now, like, I gotta slow down the Hexplorer stuff. I played a ton of it on the channel, and I want to play other stuff. Doesn't mean the games are bad or anything like that. It's just like, I just want to play other stuff. And the whole stopping and pumping the brakes on whatever I'm doing to then play a prototype or something new, it's not really what I like doing. And I, I don't need to, thanks to your support. I don't have to do that, which is nice. And I don't want to just copy that model from every other channel that does that and just get hooked on like, oh, I need to play Kickstarter prototypes oh, yeah. that aren't finished, uh, that are full of issues, and it's frustrating to try to learn games that don't have finished rules and then play them on the channel. That that gets frustrating after a while. Yeah. I'd rather just play finalized games and like a consumer would, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a tester um, and uh, telling you these prototypes are great. Like, too much scummy stuff happens with related to that, and I don't want to be a, a, aligned with that. So, yeah. So, not saying the Hexplorer stuff's bad at all. Jonathan makes great prototypes, sends me awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's why I play his prototypes and why I love them. And then why I play the final ones, I'm all in. Yeah, there's a few people that you do that for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I love that stuff. I, I, like, love Hexplorer games. You guys know that. Like, 
There's a lot of people that won't even touch those games because they don't want to sit there for like eight hours playing them on stream. Because they're like, they're really in it just to make like quick, dirty content. They don't care about like actually what they're playing. They just want to churn out more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I don't care about that. But. And that game shines like the longer you play it, Jeez, I, Louise, I feel, it does. right? Yeah. Like, it's okay in the beginning, but like the longer that you yeah. play and the higher you build your character yeah, out, yeah. like it is just so fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's another sandbox game like this. Yeah. Where it's just like so much stuff is in those games that like you'll never see when you play and it's like so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. But yeah, maybe I'll play the campaign of the first one. But until I play that, don't ever ask about any future campaign books. I'll, I'll never touch them. Until I finish the first one, which may never be ha may never happen, and I'm okay with that, because there's way too much stuff coming out all the time, way too many great games that have been out already for years that I've not played, and I'm okay to go back and play them. I don't need to play all the new stuff. I don't care to. So sometimes I do. Star Wars Unlimited, you know, like I'm excited to get in that kind of stuff right when it launches. Those are always fun to get in collectible card games at the beginning of the start of it, but. Uh, yeah, I don't always want to play everything that's new all the time. <sighs> yeah, I haven't played Septima. Septima we looked at um, uh, at a Gen Con. I saw that there. Mm -hmm. There's like another one. They have like a couple of Mind Clash games that uh, have been on my radar before that I've not played. But some of them I'm just going to avoid probably. But we'll see. We'll see. There's so many. Yeah, there's too many. That's a it's problem. It's hard, man. So hard. Like, even if I played a brand new game every week, like, th let's say I played three brand new games every week, which is, like, insane, especially the size of some of the rule books, these things. Yeah. And I played them on stream, felt comfortable, played them on stream, one episode, and then moved on. Like, live played them, like, not editing, not, like, fixing mistakes, all that. Just, like, felt comfortable to do it live without any editing. And did that three games, like, let's say 50-ish weeks a year, like, that's 150 games, and literally that is, like, of the types of games I would play, that maybe covers, like, a third of the games that get released every year that I would touch that are, like, my taste and games that I would like to play. Like, obviously there's tons of, like, family games, kids games, party games, like, like you see Gen Con, like, five, six hundred games get released. Maybe, like, ten I feel I would even touch. Yeah. Even look at. Maybe 30 on a great Gen Con. Um, most are junk. Most are just junk uh, to churn out more paper and cardboard every year just to make sales and uh, hope they hit. Lots of uh, crap thrown at a wall and hope it sticks. But then there's some quality games that are, uh, just don't appeal to me. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of crap there. A lot of crap gets released in the industry every year just hoping it'll catch on. It's crazy. Like, holy crap, a game with birds sold record sales? Quick! Find that publisher that's sitting down on the, the street corner begging for a spare change that says they make games. Get their game. Slap birds on it. Sell it as our bird game. Hopefully it'll do as sales that that bird game did. It's crazy. That's what happens for real. And uh, yeah, that's how crap gets just put out there and then bombs and then you see it on clearance. It's crazy how much garbage gets churned out in this industry. Uh, plus I think there's another Mind Clash game. Check that. Oh yeah, I read that. I love Mind Clash games personally. But I'm not sure they're suited to streams with how crunchy they can be. Mm. They're fine for streams with being crunchy. That is not a problem. It's the pre-work. So to play like those kind of crunchy Euro kind of games, for me on stream, I need to like learn them, play them off stream, relearn them off stream, read rules online, feel comfortable to then do it live. Like... And we both have to do that. If we're if it's, if a, it's two a two player, player one, yeah. I'm picturing it could be single, like yeah, like the one I played was um, uh, I can picture it with the triangles. What the hell was that game called? Anachrony. Anachrony. Yeah, it's a weird word. Uh, I always forget it with the time traveling. But that is like better solo, but you can play it multiplayer. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I had to get expansion to make it solo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we could play that one. Two player, maybe we did. I don't even remember. No, I did not play. Oh that. my god, I don't. Even, it's so many games. Um, but yeah, it takes a lot of not streaming and then people going, "Rob, where's your streams this week?" Oh yeah. To then go, ah, oh, damn it, I'm trying to learn this other game right now, man. Now I got to stream something and interrupt that because people are going, "Where's your damn streams? Are you okay?" <laughs> Just joking, but kind of it's like that. Um, so yeah, some of those games I need to take lots of time to like 
learn them and feel comfortable, right? Yeah. Just picture when you buy one of those Mind Clash games, imagine it showed up. Like, this is what happens to me. People come here and they're like, Rob, I just got this game arrived uh, from Kickstarter. It just showed up for me today. When are you going to stream it? And it's like, well, one, I'm in Canada, so I probably won't see mine for a while. Just imagine when it shows up at your door, people expect me to like crack it open and just stream it like that day. And it's like, man, it's, it doesn't work that way. Like, mm-hmm. can you just, it's the equivalent I feel, uh, this is the best thing I can relate it to is like, picture you're going to game night or you invited a bunch of fit friends over for board game night. And you're, and I know a lot of you can f- understand this completely. Picture a game like those Mind Clash games or some of those heavier games, uh, and you now have three players coming over that never played it. Maybe they play those type of games, it's fine. But you're not going to get them to come over and never... You have to have played it. You have to know it well to teach it properly, mm-hmm. to keep them as friends, so that they understand the game and they're willing to play it, right? Yeah. That's the same preparation I feel trying to play it on stream to show a game to people. Because there's every time I play a game on stream... 80% of people in the chat who vote on the poll have never played the game, know nothing about it. So I have to come, it's like I'm showing up to a store to demo a game or having people show up for the weekly game night and then they all just stare at me going, okay, teach me this game. And I have to feel so comfortable to be able to not do it just like good and I don't do it perfect. That's a learning thing, but like I, I have to feel confident enough to do that with the game um, or otherwise streaming it, it's like, a whole other thing like it's easier to do it edited uh if you just did videos of playing two turns of a game like a lot of channels do right they'll get these big games they'll put up like a video or a series of videos that show the first three turns of the game and then just end it there and it's so easy to do because usually they take the tutorial system oh, yeah. or they work with the publisher and they like you know make sure it works and it's still full of mistakes but they'll do that and it's just easier, right? Because they can quickly play it and fix it in editing, put some tags on it. But like to do it live is like, and try not to make too many mistakes, it's like rough. Um, so sometimes I take way too long to prep a game to play on stream. And sometimes I chicken out and I'm like, I don't want to play this game on stream. Or I don't feel comfortable enough. Or I just don't like it enough. And I just, I just wasted three days. And that's fine. I'm going to play something else. That's it. That's how I run my channel. <laughs> <laughs> It's very um, passion-driven, I guess. It's weird. It's not structured so much. But yeah. But uh, it doesn't mean I don't want to play those games. It's just like, they are like... When I play one of those games, it's like, I've been preparing for like a week to play one of those games on the channel. It's like kind of a big thing. Um, so yeah. But it's interesting. Um, Mike says, Voidfall. Oh yeah, somebody's mentioned Voidfall too. Uh, Voidfall... Is excellent, but it's br- a brutal learn and even more brutal to table. Oh God, I love it, but it's not something I carelessly recommend. If that makes sense, yeah. And that's what happens to me sometimes. I play games and I'm like, wait, not everyone looks at these games the same way I do, and is willing to put in the effort to figure them out. And not everyone's gonna go on BGG and look up all the like weird nuances or print out a fan made reference sheet or tutorial. You know, like. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Some of these games, the way they're packaged and they come, it's like, my God, I don't want somebody else to this to be their experience in the hobby is trying to learn this monster. Um, but yeah, I understand what you mean. It's like, but if you, you've you gone through that, Mike, many times, I've gone through that many times. So we're kind of like, yeah, I'll figure it out. I know where the resources are. I know how to like figure out, you know, how to learn it and then play it and then get, get past that hurdle. Um, so yeah. Oh, there's just a lot to the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a four-page icon reference? Jesus. Is it a space game? Wait, Voidfall. Yeah, it's like the purpley box, right? I, I can picture it. Yeah, I just can't picture the game I think itself. I know. Isn't there like a reskin to Voidfall that happened? Hold on. I might know what this game is, actually. Yes. Yeah, but like I, I can't Yeah, it's a, bit, a 4X space game. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this was one of the talks at Gen Con a while back. Oh, this is a Mind Clash one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, okay, I see it, I see it. Yeah, I wasn't sure what game it was at first, but now I now I understand. Yeah, I remember the box. Yeah, you know what I was... Uh, there's another game I was confusing it with in my mind that was like another space theme game that was like at Gen Con a few years ago. 
uh, I just remember it's got like a ship that moves and the board like moves with it or something. And it's like traveling through. I don't remember what it was. Somebody will know. That's what I kept picturing when someone said Voidfall. Hmm. But yeah. Just looking at pictures of it, I know you guys can't really see it right now. Black Angel, is that what you're thinking? Yes, I was thinking Black Angel, yeah. that's that, And Black Angel on the table is what I pictured when you guys were saying Voidfall. That's what I was picturing. That's how my mind works. I just like think I know what you're talking about, and sometimes I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was saying, when I looked at pictures of Voidfall, when I looked up pictures of Voidfall, instantly I was thinking of Twilight Imperium. And then, sure enough, three pictures over is Twilight Imperium. <laughs> yeah, see, I look at this and I'm like, I have no interest in playing this, yeah. but I'm sure it's super fun So if what, I give it a chance. What we'll do, uh, I don't know 4X games technically that we've played. Like, is Scythe considered like a 4X? It's like Explore, Exploit, Exterminate. And something else, I forget them, but uh, it's basically like you start off in a corner of the map and you kind of like need to go out and oh, expand, then? expand, that's it, expand, smash people, ex up exploiting upgrades and negotiation and bases and stuff and resources and kind of like build an engine um, and just become the, the ruler. So yeah. isn't Game of Thrones a board game similar then? Uh, that's what I kind of think, but I'm not sure so, like that's... Maybe it's in a different class, but it's kind of like along the same lines. But we have... Like, um... does it have to be space? Or can, no, no, it can happen. Like, no. You can have four X in any genre. I'm, yeah, and the one that I want to play is like one that I've still not got to the table, and I found it on clearance. I'm sure because they probably printed too many, or maybe no one cares about the game anymore. Um, is that one game from the game that the company, the publisher that makes all the little games? No, oh, Tiny, uh, Tiny Epic? Epic. They have like one giant game that's basically like Warcraft three, the board game. Oh. I saw on clearance one year, a couple years ago, the um, base game. For, it's like Land, Sea, and Air or Heroes of Land, Sea, and Air or something. Mm -hmm. um, it just looked like a cheesy, ver a cheesy board game version of Warcraft 3, kind of the board game. So it's fantasy. So we got orcs and elves and stuff like that. I think that's 4X, right? Where it's like we're starting off on like a little island. We're upgrading units, expanding to other islands, smashing each other, building bases. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know a 4X game that I've played. Isn't, um, again, Space, uh, the Warhammer one that FFG had but canceled before expansions came out. I forget. It's like a re redo of StarCraft, the board game. I forget. I can't remember any names right now. I am so done today. I'm trying to think of what you're talking about. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I forget. Forbidden Stars, thank you. Oh, I should have known. I always forget the name of that game. Maybe but... just is in your brain. Yeah, no, these people know <laughs> games. They're like, or they're Googling them, and I'm being lazy and not Googling it. Um, yeah. But we have like Eclipse, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is one of those two. It reminded me of that. I remember when we looked that game up. Clips Second Dawn we have to play at some point in the future. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I'm not losing sleep over it, but at some point we'll play it maybe. Um, yeah. I don't know. So then is... Um, what's the Star Wars one uh, that we played? The two-player Star Wars. Outer Rim? No, no, no. The big one. Rebellion. Uh... Oh, Rebellion. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Rebellion? Is that? Star Wars Rebellion? Technically a 4X game? I don't think so. No. No? That's like a cat and mouse game. Oh, okay, okay. One person's like hiding, trying to like oh, okay, spread okay. across, so like, like hide, that. and yeah. then the other one's expanding so and hunting. Like... Oh, okay. So it's missing a few of the X's. I think so, yeah. Okay. Got it. I always just picture like the 4X games need to have like, it's everyone versus everyone. You kind of usually need to, there's maybe some negotiation, maybe not. But it's like you're like start off small and you need to basically create an empire. Mm -hmm. Just like the real world, governments want to fight over land, mm -hmm. push their agendas, you know, make their country or make their people the most, you know, wealthy and powerful nation. It's like that kind of game. Okay. And I don't know the wind conditions and what, but it's that kind of thing. Uh, it's so very good. It's up there with Spirit Island for me. It's just a lot. It's more a Euro disguised as a 4X 
in my opinion. Mm. It has Forex theme, in my opinion. Oh, okay. okay. Interesting. But yeah, I don't know, man. There's so many games I want to play that we like have that I just need to look at. Oh, that's crazy. And again, Gen Con's coming so fast. It's almost, it's, March is almost over. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy too because I, I know what's going through your head now is we finished this. So now it's like, okay, now what's replacing this time slot is? And, and I'm going to take know? a few days. I'm going to take a few days or a week to like literally think about it. Like, and we don't have to rush right into another campaign game. Right, right. We, that's what I'm saying. Maybe we just look at the back catalog and like, what do we have? Let's just play some one-off things and have some fun. Right? Yeah, because there's probably a few people that haven't been around the channel for a while. So if they're not interested in Star Wars, if they're not interested in this, maybe not even in Frosthaven. Mm -hmm. um, we have played some one-off games, but it's been rare. We usually so. do that near the end of the year, around the holidays. We go and play like a whole bunch of one-off games we got around Black Friday yeah. and holidays or ones that we haven't played since the previous year and stuff. Yeah. Um... And then middle of the year, we like dabble with one-offs here and there, but more mostly it's campaign games. Like, mm -hmm. um, it feels that's what it feels like to me. Yeah. So maybe we take a little bit and we play some non-campaign games and stuff. Yeah, and that's say fine. hi to some people on the channel who don't care about this game or Frosthaven or Star Wars Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Let's play some games that like people can join in that don't care about those lifestyle games. You know, that's also another one. You know. Yeah. I miss some people that I know are know are here. I know they're here. Well, they pop in and then we like you know yeah, they say hi they and then they're out. They don't want to watch the twenty one episodes of this game specifically, and that's, that's fine. fine. I hear you. They don't want spoilers. They don't care about it. And then I see them like it's like old friends. Like then I'll play like a one off Euro game, and then they're like all in the chat. Or people that only care when we play a certain LCG will show up only when we play that certain LCG, and I miss them. Mm -hmm. And then I see their names in the chat. I'm like, oh hey, how's it going? You've been hanging around for like eight years. Nice to see you again. Like, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So, it's hard because I can only play so much at once. So, yeah. And I don't knock anyone who only wants to watch us when we play certain games. Like, I only oh, yeah. watch other channels and things when I'm only interested in certain topics, right? So, it's totally fine. Every stream is not meant to please every viewer. Uh,. Yeah, Mike's, yeah, Mike's, exactly, Mike, I hadn't seen in a while, I see Mike in the chat, I'm like, holy jeez, hey, uh, you're alive, good to see you, like, but I, like, I know Mike's around, I know Mike's there, it's like, I know, like, exactly, Mike's the perfect example right now, yeah, this one wasn't for me, that's fine, though, I play all kinds of games, Rob won't spend time on, too, uh -huh. mm -hmm. exactly, like, and that's the beauty of the hobby, is everyone has tastes with different things, yeah. I'll never be mad if someone's like, I'm not gonna support you, you're not playing my favorite game now, and then they come back two years later, and they join up again and they support us while I'm playing some other game. They, that's like totally acceptable, man. Mm -hmm. It's like going in the video store with all the VHSs on the wall. I don't expect you to rent and watch every movie. Right? This Everyone gets that reference, right? Right? Oh, yeah. Am I dating myself or something? Is that... Right? You go to the video store, right? Everyone does that still, right? You go to the video store to rent VHSs and Nintendo games and smell the popcorn popping. <laughs> that's the thing still, right? I haven't got out in a while. COVID happened. I don't know what's going on in the world, but I just play board games in my basement all day. But anyways, I think people still do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. We're going to get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us. If you made it to this spot in the future, say hi. You did it. You're one of a few people that made it all the way through our 21 episode campaign of Earthborn Rangers. That's a special thing. Uh, the music store for 45s and LPs. Yeah, yeah, that could be a thing. I don't understand that reference. You know, 45s and LPs, like What's the a records. 45? They're like, like the a tape? different size records. Like vinyl. A 45 is a, for a record player? It, yeah, a 45 oh. is like the little ones, right, Janet? And then like LPs are like, you know. The, the bigger ones? Or maybe it's the opposite. No, I think 45s are little ones, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand that. Jim. It's been a little while since I've come across those. Uh, but yeah. But that's the thing. You go in the mall now. There is records. Oh, yeah. They are, that's still normal. Yeah. That is still, Janet, that is not an old reference. My daughter still goes and wants to buy vinyl and wants us to get her a record player. And, and she still gets us to buy her CDs. Yeah. We bought her CD player. It's so, I'm like. They've advanced. <laughs> like next thing she's going to be asking for an MP3 player. You know, an 8-track player, for, you know, for a car. I don't even know what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, 33s are the big ones. LPs, multi-track per side. Oh, okay, oh. okay. 
45 is one song on each side, LPs, multi tracks per side. Gotcha. Yeah, vinyl is like, it's like, I feel like Janet, vinyl never went away. Because when I was like, even in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s, I would go buy music like on CD or cassette tape uh, for my Walkman. Mm -hmm. uh, the store had like uh, half of it was still vinyl. People were still collecting it. DJs yeah. were still scratching vinyl. It was like, it never went away. And now it's like, yes, it's, I guess it's back in popularity again now. But I feel like every 10 years or so, it gets like a resurgence where people are like, I just love the sound of things on vinyl. And it's like, it's like never going to go away, it feels. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee CDs and cassette tapes are like, they'll die and like hopefully never come back. Because like, yeah, it was like, there's nothing. Yeah, those, those formats, I don't know. But uh, anyways. Albums are true sound waves, that's why. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, but no one no one needs magnetic tapes to store their music on anymore. That's a thing. That's not a thing where they degrade over time. I don't know if uh, vinyl does it degrade over time. Maybe if, if it's not. Kept, the, need, the, needle, like, the, needle, the needle's going through the grooves. Does that wear it out? Like, again, that's like b before my time kind of, but um, I didn't I didn't rollerblade around with a vinyl record player on my hip, uh, you know, or on my bike. So I, my, all my music was mostly portable, always. My dad had vinyl. But yeah, yeah, like, same, but yeah. I just know, like, uh, you know, magnetic tape, like VHS, um, cassette, like uh, cassette tapes, you know, all that stuff degrades over time. Like the more plays you do, the more the the mag magnetism on it gets like degraded. So the quality drops every play, basically. Mm. So like grab a VHS tape that you've played like hundreds of times, put it in. It's like it will never look as crisp as it did the first time, like versus digital. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's, interesting. That's, that's strange. It's so strange, but it's cool. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to go watch a movie with Mel after the stream on Laserdisc. Uh, so, yeah, we got to go. So, uh, on our uh, <clears throat> our projection television. Um, so, yeah, anyways. F the floor model uh, projection television, of course. Uh, you know, because we're balling. Anyways. <laughs> You know, all that cutting edge technology. Uh, actually, maybe we'll just watch some of our HD DVDs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe some of our Betamax movies. I don't know. Whatever. We'll go in the collection. We'll see what we got. Uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you in the next game. We're back Wednesday streaming more Star Wars Unlimited. Join us for that. And stay tuned for more LCGs in the future. I'm not sure 100% which ones, but if you like this game, we'll be playing more of this on the channel in the future. I assume uh if our pledge shows up ever uh in the next few years and then um definitely some lord of the rings arkham horror maybe some marvel champions in there too so if you're interested in this type of game there's many other co-op lcgs like it and if those didn't exist this game wouldn't exist so uh if you're interested check those out too plenty of them on the channel already if you want to go down a rabbit if you're done this game and you're like bored and you're itching and waiting for more of it go look up our arkham horror stuff uh go look up our marvel champions go look up our lord of the rings living card game all that stuff you can buy and get into those games too. Uh, I warn you though, those rabbit holes uh, are deep. But uh, if you like this type of game, there's more of that out there. If this is the first like kind of game you dove into like this, um, yeah, there's plenty more. We'll play it on the channel. We'll play more in the future. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, everyone. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for the 23 of you so far. I clicked the likes on this one. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next series. Bye. Bye, -bye.